two. Hello, one and all. It is I, Ethan Klein, your uh, sick leader here today. The bell's ringing for me because they know my time has come. Today is um, September 20th. And it is my last day, actually. My only regret is that I didn't die nine days ago. So that could have passed on 9 11. That would have been. That would have been. And beautiful. then you guys could say my boss died on 9 11. Mm hmm. Mm. And what an honor that would be. He gets some stolen valor out of what a What an honor. <laughs> I'm going to salute me. you now. You guys can remember me at the 9 11 memorial. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm just a little sick. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you for this help. No. Thank you. Thank you guys. It means a lot. Very brave. Thank you guys. Thank you. At ease. <clears throat> At ease. That's my line. At ease. Thank you guys. Today's episode is sponsored by Stamps.com, who we love. Of course. We love them. I missed Monday because I was sick. I thought I'd be feeling better. I am feeling better, but my voice is pretty scratchy and effed up, you know. 600. So, but I didn't want to miss another show, you know what I mean? I don't want to do that to you guys, but I don't know what's worse, listening to my voice like this or not having another show. People usually think you sound kind of sexy when you sound like no, this. No, they don't. They do. Well, They're already what, talking what is, about it. What does that mean? They're already talking about it. What does that mean? Why? There's just something about it, you know? What about this? Ooh. Ooh. Talk to me, baby. This was my oh, love. So, um, Friday was a pretty eventful, though. We had a... Me and Dan had a massive falling out, in fact. Yeah, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is doing a George Costanza. He's just pretending nothing <laughs> happened. Um, <laughs> golly, last week was the, was the capitalism versus socialism week. But I have to tell you, I'm ready to... I want to talk about it more tomorrow because I've been thinking a lot about it. Great. I do. I mean, what? Well, that's what Thursday is for, right? That, that's what Hassan's there for. Yeah. You, you can talk about it. Tommy ass grifter dog shit moron motherfucker. All right, chill, dude. <laughs> to be clear, I'm not a capitalist. I'm a social democrat. Okay. I think that distinction is important because people lose their fucking mind when I say like, uh, you know, I'm a capitalist. They just think that I'm like some fat cigar smoking boot on the worker's face, grind him into dust. You know what I mean? I'm a social democrat, motherfuckers. <laughs> Recognize, bitch. But uh, actually, I, I am looking forward to tomorrow because I have been thinking about it quite a bit. Okay. I mean, okay. I think it's good, you know? It's a good conversation. I enjoyed our conversation. I just don't like how everybody gets so worked up afterwards. And I, I just stayed off of the subreddit and the internet in general this weekend because I just knew. I just knew. That was the part that kind of, you know, but I don't know if these are real people or if they're just like provocateurs. No, they're real people. Of course they are. Be it's because the reaction is so over the top. You know. People, it's a heated, I mean, you know. But I'm not saying let's, you know, let's abolish the minimum wage and, and, and hire children. I'm are you not, sure? I'm not you sure about that. that? I'm I'm only asking. Could use some young blood around the office. My only ask, uh, my only question is this: What is it that social democracy can't achieve that socialism can? That's my question. Okay, well, let's talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, let's we'll talk it. about it tomorrow. God, God sakes, we will prevail, though. Power of the people. That's right. You people are not thinking about the question. <laughs> Ethan, I was fired for calling in sick once. That's illegal. That's got to be illegal, right? That has to be probably. Not. I guess it depends, depends what state. on the labor laws in the state. In California, that's probably legal. In Texas, they're like, man, you practically fired yourself, boy. It gets hot in Texas. You don't want to work when you're sick. You fired yourself, brother. Yeehaw! Actually, my mom said. The thing is, is like. I don't think they could fire you explicitly for doing that, but if you're in like an uh, what is it called? Uh, at will state, which California is, by the way, yeah, then they could just because they can fire you for any reason without cause, so they could just say, yeah, yeah, 
we're not happy with your performance. You got to go. And it would be obvious that they got fired because you're sick, but Very I think sure. if they you're said fired. you're fired because you're sick, you'd probably get it. Well, I know in California, it's very easy to get sued for that shit, even though it's at will. So sure. Gotta be. Anyway, my mom sent me this. <laughs> because productive cons. She said, Dan is leaving the show. Is this real? Oh, it's a parody account. I think I saw productive. She figured it out. I'm actually proud of her there. D's she nuts. she the she is a boomer with some degree of media literacy. Yeah, she figured it out. But Productaton strikes again. But people were really just thinking like that this was the end of mine and Dan's friendship, the end of mine and Hassan's show. It was all crumbling down. Not the case, guys. Come on, get a fucking Brit. This is not like if you think that, then you genuinely need to go outside and like talk to a real person. Get fucking real. As I mean, David you don't, said. you don't, <laughs> was it just a normal conversation? Um, but my heart goes out to all the, uh, cl the wage slaves. I do support you guys all the way. Power to the people. Thank you. Um, here's the Producaton post that fooled my mom. Yeah, this fucking guy took a page out of my book. He's good. He makes his title so long. <laughs> you can't see parody. parody. Yeah. Uh, you got me, you got me. Tomorrow will be Dan's last day of the show. Throughout the past six years, wow. Dan has been pivotal in helping create this wonderful podcast. We've unfortunately disagreed on many rec things recently, and we've agreed <laughs> as best to part ways. We'll never forget you, Dan. You know, it's full you circle moment me. because I believe that account came into being from uh, me mm -hmm. having that typo in a tweet one time that I put out, and they yep. immediately registered that account. Oh, it's a Bracadacaton. You did the Bracadacaton? I had a tweet where I had a typo in Bracadacaton's, <laughs> and they hopped on that real quick. <sighs> Fuck, dude. It's going to be a hard show to get through. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want I was to, like, Ethan, should we prioritize the stories today? Because you're sounding a little rough. And he's like, no, I'm going the distance. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm, gonna... I'm like, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Shout out to my wage slaves out there. Shout out. Shut the fuck out. You guys are watching this on a break. Get back to work, fuckers. Stop stealing money. Did you know that taking an extra long break is stealing money? Right. Stealing that! <laughs> All right, let's talk about shit. Um, today we got eight passengers calling in Josh update from Swoop de Doop de Doo and Swoop. the Russell Brand um, <coughs> allegations. It's a quite a drama filled episode. I'm trying to just get it all out of the way so that Friday can be just the, just for laughs. Friday fun day about mm -hmm. politics. Friday fun day. That's how it should be, baby. Friday fun day. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, you know what I need? I need to take Tylenol. I'll help. The slow descent begins. Tylenol, oh, Tylenol, oh, light the menorah. <laughs> They'll dance the tango, we'll all do the horror. Have you not hit the, uh, the quill? Last night I did, that's part of the problem. That but not the day quill. No, I didn't hit Dayquil. You gotta hit that day. You we have? I swear by the Dayquil. I live by the Dayquil when I'm sick. We have Dayquil. I'll hit Dayquil. Instead of the Tylenol? Because it's the same thing, right? It's Tylenol. I believe it has the same thing, yeah. but then it's got some other shit. Because I can't take ibuprofen, but I can yeah, take, take Tylenol. I'll grab that. Perks you up. I took, you know what I mean? I took Nyquil two days in a row, and <laughs> that's a risky proposition because that shit fucks me up, dude. It washes me out for like a week. Yeah. Sleepy and horny. That shit hit hard, oh, that's, bro. Oh, that's too, too much information, dude. Come on. Sleepy and horny? Did I say and that? Horny. When did I say that? Cough medicine about Ethan might be ago. funny receiving this PowerPoint. <laughs> oh. About three years ago. Been saving horny. that one in the pocket. I but what do you like about DayQuil? It just makes you feel better? Yeah, because it, it, it kind of it juices you a little bit, you know? It energizes you? Yeah. Well, Seven pick me up. What does that mean? Is there cat? How? There? Yeah, well, I don't what's know. Going on? I've never looked into it too much. I've been snoring I'm just chugging it. Should I no, start it? I, I forget what the name of the. Would it work better if I activated it? Yes. Uh, I mean, probably. I'm not going to do that. That's a joke. That's a joke, you do. I would never do that or recommend anybody ever do that. Well, sh I don't want to hit it out the bottle, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a little cup or something. 
There you go. It has a mild stimulant called uh, phenylephrine. God damn it. These Fen fucking pharmaceutical words. Phenylephrine. Phenylephrine. I think oh, I'm what saying the fuck? it. It says nasal decongestant. Mm -hmm. Is what it's listed. That's as. the thing, is it's like it's it's the works, dude. It, it like hits you. It's like pain relief, decongestion, it perks you up a little bit. It's just anti sick. See, we've got general anti sick. It's like a health potion. <laughs> we got Tylenol. Get your fucking cough suppressant. Quaefin- Quaefinison? <laughs> Quaefinison. Expectorant? Thank you, Sam. Oh, shot glass. Perfect. Oh, shit. And then phenylphenolphytal syndrome. <laughs> which is a nasal decompressant. Cheers, my dudes. Cheers, my dudes. This is a cursed dude. shot if I've ever seen one. Love ya! <laughs> Cheers, my dudes. <laughs> Cheers, my dude. <gasps> is it? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. I'm supposed to drink a lot of it, I think. Uh, how much? Like, I did, I did a whole shot. What does it say? A uh, shot glass is two ounces, right? Yeah, that's gotta be it. What does it say on the back? Let me see. What's the dose? Um, 15 milliliters? You get your shots. Dude, why, yeah. it's so conf why we gotta do the different measurements and shit, motherfucker? 15 milliliters, two ounces is a uh, half an ounce, so that is uh, four times the recommended dose in that shot <laughs> Oh, glass. it can't be. That's, does it say, it says 15 milliliters? Hold on, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, no. Adults and children, 30 milliliters every four hours. Okay, so that's oh, one ounce. So that's double the normal dose. So double? Drink half, yeah, drink half that thing. Double means it's twice as effective. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that is true. Girl, Take don't the do recommended it. amount. Girl, don't do it. Cheers, my dudes. Live show. Love ya. We Love ya. like to drink with Ethan, because Ethan is our man. People always say, I want to do the eat along when you guys do food segments. Everybody get your shot glasses and bake well together. <laughs> Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my dude. Love you, Tip. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> he shared you. There you go. Perfect. Nail oh, it. Done smooth. <clears throat> you healed now? It's like Jägermeister. Hell yeah. <laughs> Those done real smooth. Healed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> Can I ask you guys watching, does any other host of a show do this? Come out here. Like this, Sick. and do shots of Dayquil for your enjoyment. Uh, Name one other person who's willing to do that. Can't think of it. Can't. I don't think you're... I oh, I have a request. That. I thought we were going to do Colleen cheating swoop. Instead Colleen of cheated on swoop? Colleen cheating swoop. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm with some bitch. Yeah. Like for the I'm title? Right. Colleen she, cheating. Because I wanted to. What does that I even mean? Colleen cheating give, swoop. I want to give Swoop de doop a shout out. Maybe FT? Well, um, featuring Swoop or something. Colleen yeah. swoop cheating. Interviews. Um, Colleen Ballinger's ex. Colleen cheating. You got to get that cheating in there, though. That's I think the spice. we should go with the the Colleen cheating scandal feet swoop. But it's not featuring her. Feet. <laughs> you think it's just throw it in there? Yeah. Well, listen, we're 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 capped out on characters as it is. Well, we're gonna so. have to we're gonna have to workshop this. Colleen cheating scandal featuring Swoop. That's yeah. pretty good. Dude, title language doesn't have to really make sense. You just gotta fit everything. It's just a little misleading to say yeah. featuring. Uh, Swoop deserves those flowers. Yeah, we've you know never I mean? done. We're a featuring her content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never misled content. our audience before. No, we've never done. For the that. title. Well, it's a little too long now, so, uh... No, so now we got... So, you can remove gross from a passenger update, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's granted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got Touching it. a passenger update. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiring. All right, we're good. We got the title. So, Let's read see. it to me. Oh, boy. Colleen cheating scandal featuring Swoop. All uh, caps, Swoop? I, I no. All caps. Put respect on her name. <clears throat> okay, got it. Uh, eight passengers update, Russell Brand exposed. That's a good title. Great. That's a good title. No. <laughs> oh my god. Cheers, my dude. You guys don't know I gotta put on a show. I have to do it. Don't also hit the Tylenol. Stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had two here. I'm not trying to die. I had two here. Oh, you're though. putting them back. Okay. But I maybe I shouldn't put it back because I touched them. Yeah, maybe not. Cheers, my dudes. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Um, lots of good fan art on the subreddit following our painting segment. Yeah, really good ones. Mm -hmm. 
And actually, a lot of people took up the challenge of the impossible angle. Yeah, I saw that as well in the in the in the gallery here. Fantastic, beautiful, magnificent. That's a good impossible wow. angle shot. Yeah, my ass was not him, handsome though. devil. Ass was not. It looks like it's in the style of like gamer sub. Yeah, it looks like a gamer sub yeah. cup. Oh my god, it does. That'd be Key, cool. I like it, Picasso. <laughs> Wait, they wrote that. I had no idea. I had no idea to make the crazy pose into the style of gamer subs waifu cups. That's what they did. That's smart. That's pretty funny. Pretty talented. What's yeah. this? <laughs> Key, I like wow, people really like this angle, huh? Well, I I challenged them. I said, nobody, right, yeah, yeah. Nobody could do it. But they they were up for it. They Put did up it. the challenge. This is just beautiful. This is a magnificent art. Castle. It's inspiring of me. Oh, that's cool. This is a beautiful art. That's sick. Yeah, I like that one a lot. This one is speaking to my soul. <laughs> beautiful art. The day quill him fast. Wow! Damn. This is a gorgeous art. That's beautiful. beautiful. It's a beautiful art, huh? Gorgeous. Really talented artists in the audience, mm -hmm. eh? Mm -hmm. okay, I like there it. always are. Whenever this comes out, I'm always shocked. I'm kind of into this one, too. Yeah, it's a cool. beautiful type of art, isn't it? This person's an art teacher, so you know this is high-level, like, interpretation. Yeah. I noticed people really enjoyed drawing me very fat. Well, that angle was not flattering. It made you look... Much larger than than you are. That's what I'm saying, though. There's still work to go. It, it, the angle, though. There's work to be done. I'm at 185, by the way. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> 185. It's a beautiful art. I love this art. This is a gorgeous art. <laughs> oh. Oh, speak of it to my heart. It's a beautiful drawing. Oh, oh. Oh, what? That's so this one's cool. Fire. Let's fucking go. Pixel With the pixel art, art style? With me as a what? Titan. Being being uh boarded by Rangers. Fra Fra Lucas <laughs> Scouts. here. Scouts. 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 Bro. Apologies. Come baby. on. This is a gorgeous art. This speak of it to my soul. That is stupid cool. Love that one. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Get from the French girl. Get Picasso. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a beautiful art. Huh? <laughs> is this the one like the Colombian? Yeah. Love that. That's right. Oh. Gorgeous. Is it 33? Holy fuck. Dude, there oh were so God. many. Whoa. All right, I'm going to have to speed up. No offense. Enough to keep scrolling here. Yeah, don't don't be sad if we scroll past yours quick. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell is this? Hell no, you didn't draw that. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we kidding right now? The, uh, the heart of the ocean. <laughs> That's so Stunning. awesome. Yeah. That's a beautiful painting, my goodness. What the hell? Is no what the hell? Shout out to Bathroom Tile. Incredible. Who really work. captured my weight loss, I'll say. Uh, <laughs> you do look like a skinny legend in that I'll one. I'll say that. Yeah. So thank you to Bathroom Tile. I want to put this one in my living room. <laughs> That'd be super weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whoa. Yeah, this one's starting to look more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a beautiful art. I love this art. There's one that I really love that I'm trying to get to. Apologies. <laughs> that one's cool. so damn many of them. <laughs> Oh, that's in that artist style as well. That was yeah, great. Like, I like the Fernando yeah. Otiero guys. Rest in peace, by the way. <laughs> right, he died that day? I, feel I like forgot we... about that. That was such a weird coincidence. He died that day. I feel like we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> we like somehow manifested that? Yeah. I think it means I'm a medium. Uh, perhaps. Probably. That's enough to want to He reached to out to you. That's yeah. enough. Oh, that's enough, because it happened okay, live, too. Show. Oh, it was captured live. That one's cool. Captured piece. live. All right. This one is so special to me, and I'll tell you why. I don't think I've seen somebody draw Shredder in such a way that it really captured, like, how I see him. Because people an, draw him an and, and I feel like this is so, like... 
Yeah, that's really good. I just feel like I'm I'm really looking at Shredder, and I'm really, I don't know how to describe it. You described it well. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, that's him. That's good. But it also makes me sad. God, that's gorgeous, though. It's crazy. <laughs> it is beautiful. Very beautiful. Shout out to Seven Nat. P.S. I actually have lupus. You see oh, that in the title? Oh, fantastic. Welcome <laughs> to the club. <laughs> you know, yesterday, <laughs> We're glad to have you. I, was, I was scrolling the timeline and I saw um, a post of Selena Gomez and someone was like, damn, she looks great. Did she get a boob job or something? And they were like, no, she has lupus. And the person commented back, oh my God, I want lupus. And I was like, damn, that sounds like someone I know. Wait, why did lupus make her look like she had a boob pe job? Pe some people say that um, like the medicine from lupus can make you gain weight. And so she oh. looks amazing. And so people are like, damn, she get a boob job? And um, no, that lupus. person, no, that's just the lupus, but they, they want it really bad. They wish. Oh man, Only. I don't need more medicine to gain wing weight, please. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> please. But anyway, thank you, Seven Hat. <laughs> I love, I love Shredder. I miss him so much. The beautiful light, huh? Beautiful, the beauty, the beauty. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, what the fuck? It's a little disrespectful. Yeah, it's a little disrespectful. What can I do? I got I know. There's a lot. There's a lot. Why am I dead? Why do I have a? Why do I have a <laughs> halo? Wait. What? The description might have a uh, indication. I crack at Bizarro Posture Ethan, is all it says. Oh. I don't know why you're dead then. Oh, That one I love too. I loved it so much. I feel like that's a really sweet one of him too. Yeah. Mm. Used to do that too. Just like that position. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Who's this? I know that ain't me. It looks like you. No, it looks like <laughs> Mr. Beast, it. dude. Too much wine. Mr. Beast? That shit? This looks like Mr. Beast. I don't know if I see it. No offense, but did we need the eight like ones? Not not that this is not that this isn't a banger. Wow. But I'm just saying there, there's too many. Too there's too wine, many. Sorry. It needed to be edited. Too much I can't too much. And not not to disrespect, it's just there's too many, you guys. <coughs> and this is not me. They said they tried their best. Okay, well, that's fine. Just, you know what I mean? Eight votes. <laughs> Try harder? I don't know. Yeah. Just kidding. I love that one. It's beautiful. Come Magnificent. On. It's a beautiful art, huh? <laughs> it's a beautiful art. I love it so much. Speak it to my soul. <sighs> I could bust out in tears at any moment. This can be one. <laughs> Nobody doesn't like us, folks. Yeah. Man, that day cool hit. This uh, animation's really cool. Someone <laughs> animated all of ours that we drew. Was that going really slow? Huh? Like, yeah, I'm opening the animation one. Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh. Oh, it's all everybody's. Oh, that's so. Whoa. Sick. That's insane. What? Yo. Yeah. That's so cool. That is really sick. Ant Anti -ch Chanto. Anti -ch Anti -ch Anto. That is so sick, dude. Or do that. Or here's my dude and a dudette. Is there a non-gender dude? I, you know, is, to me, is, dude, dude has transcended at this point. Dude. I think so, so. Is girl? Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah true. Girl is non-gender girl. <laughs> I feel that. I see you, girl. I, I just yeah, call everyone girl. like bro, dude, man. I, don't really I feel that too. I just I want to make sure you know. Yeah. Girl is the great. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Amazing uh, work, everybody. Here's some fun cab cab news. This guy's such an idiot loser freak. <laughs> He's so Angry. desperate to buy views. He just gonna talk to Jimmy Lee, man. Jimmy Lee already has a million. What are you doing? Wow. He bu He's buying followers allegedly. No, not allegedly. They, no, we know now. Dead. Yeah. yeah. It's actually not even alleged. It's literal. <laughs> yeah. Here's the evidence. Let's take a look. So here's Khloe Kardashian uh, posting high key clout. High key, high key clout. Thank you. Working bad. Let me see what she's saying. One of these fabulous prizes. Everything is divine. You're not. But anyway, anyway, you have to follow all the accounts high key clout is following. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a hundred. Twenty six. Hundred nine right now. It says. No, no, that's her account. Oh. Wow. Click on she she tagged it in the description or right there. Yeah. Hundred twenty six. Yep. Cav Cav is one of them. Cav Cav is one of them. I would call that a. What would you call that, Ja Rule? Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Those are his words, not mine. That's not fraud. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, fraud is kind of a strong word. I wouldn't. I would call that uh, false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I would say that either. I'm not willing to put go on the record with that. Out of this shit, man. I'm gonna regret it. I want you guys to read my caption because all the instructions are below. Hi, Key, myself. We want to bless some people. And look how cute this sure bird is. How do you enter the class? Dude, she's so fucking rich. Like, I, I know they're paying her a lot of money, but this is just humiliating. God, dude. She's one of the biggest people on Instagram. Why the fuck are you doing this high key, key clout shit? Even the name is embarrassing, man. Like, what the fuck? You know, it's okay to say no to things, Chloe. I know you're not like the most popping Kardashian. But it's okay to pass on things. Am I right? She's not popping Kardashian. She's like... I mean, all the Kardashians are popping. But she's F tier Kardashian. Yeah, what tier is Definitely. she? I was about to ask, what tier? No, that'd be the Actually, like No, she's not F tier Kardashian. I'd say she's like B or yeah. C. Rob is F tier. No Down offense. in C tier, though? He's that is B. sad. I, her, well, for right B. now. B. She was things A last change. year. You know her what I'm B. talking oh, about. Yes. Okay. Things change. Well, what about after this high key clout collab? How about let's go A plus S? She got a what? That's raising her. So much clout she's getting. Oh well, she's it's going key, to S. It is high key clout. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go to high key clout and see all the fucking idiots that paid. We went to the website. Ten thousand dollars, right? Ten thousand dollars to get a follow from high key clout, and therefore a look follow at these from fucking follow. idiots, dude. Morons. <laughs> Each one of them. You're, buy you're buying followers of people that want a fucking Birkin bag. They don't give a fuck about you. The reason they do this is because they don't want their followers to be from India, so it doesn't show up as fake. But it's going to show up as fake when you post and get 100 likes. Idiot. Dumbass. Losers. <laughs> Each one of these guys. Oh, oh, who's this? There he is. Oh, hi. Oh, my goodness. It's Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> you idiot. Loser, moron, nobody likes you. <laughs> Just face it. Don't even bother buying followers, man. How many likes you get on your posts? It's crazy. Also, what do you spend your time posting? Weird shit, dude. What is you that? post about the alien, you fucking freak? <laughs> you posted this. The you posted government, this. The, uh, read the caption. The caption's so funny. Scientists unveil modified alien corpses at congressional hearing in Mexico, exclamation. <coughs> he said, no, this is not a new movie I'm making. No shit, you don't make movies anymore. They took that fucking part <laughs> away from you. You've been making the same movie for like six years now. The only movies you're making is with Bryce Hall. Yeah. Takes you five years to make it. No, this is not a movie I'm making. It's no bullshit. The government just dropped a bombshell by unveiling an actual alien corpse. <laughs> what making waves rude, ABC dude. and World Star. World Star reporting. And World Star. <laughs> what is this post? Share your thoughts. WTF. <gasps> and then hashtag government reveal. Hashtag next level truth. Yo, next level truth. That's a popping hashtag. Yeah. Careful. Again, we didn't talk about this, but some light research is Reveals how silly this whole thing is. It's just talk a random weirdo that keep he's done this presentation. Did we not talk about it? No, we never did. Oh, but I don't even so tell you that. Right to tell you that this ain't real. What the <laughs> shit is this? <laughs> this shit is so funny. <laughs> Y'all can't be serious with this right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah. About to make me lose my money here, Cav Cav. You gotta get. You gotta get better posts than this 55,000 likes. Yeah, fucking right, dumbass. <laughs> high key clout. High key, high key clout for low clout losers. You have no clout. And it hurts. It hurts, doesn't it? Quick question about the alien, though. Mm. Go ahead. On my H3 bingo card, I have significant life of alien, or significant evidence of alien life is discovered. Is that, uh, does that count? No. 
Hell no, that it. doesn't count. Although, um, Cam, I've this heard. Gaia TV ass fucking. There might be some <laughs> sculpture. Um. 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 James Webb Telescope. Oh, okay. Cool. okay. He's doing some yeah. deep studies of Earth like planets. Right. And they figured out a way to analyze the atmosphere. And if there's this specific thing in atmosphere, like methane or so, I don't know what. No, not Wait, methane. yeah, I was just. Didn't they? <coughs> but they something did just that, find li something. that life, uh, ec, you know, is an output of, of living life that's like breathing, living life. And so if they can find the presence of this chemical, they can pretty much confirm that there's life there. Good. I want to win HC Podcast Bingo this yeah, year. Yeah, here, six days ago, James Webb uh, Telescope sees potential signs of alien life in the atmosphere of a distant Goldilocks world. Uh, has detected potential traces of demethyl sulfide, a chemical only known to be created by phytoplan phytoplankton there it is. on Earth. Cool. So can I circle that? On the <laughs> well, it hasn't been confirmed yet, Cam. <laughs> it hasn't been confirmed, Cam. We ha right. need follow-up studies, but it's promising. Hold the phone While we're for on the, the topic, president. Right next to that, I have the podcast tries a dra uh, drastically different format and it works. Can I count that for the button? No. No, come on. It's no. working. You're reaching. That's not a format. I want to win. I want to win. I want to win. Oh, Ryan put up a new video. What is this? So today is Rosh Hashanah, which is a very Jesus. important day. It's by the way, walking and rambling. Oh, he's like, today, today's Rosh Hashanah, by the way. Oh, and by the way, shout out to the New World Order run by... <laughs> you know who. You know who's behind that. Dumbass loser. Take those words out of your mouth, bro. You're not, you're not even... <laughs> Major shouts out to High Key Clout. Were you Happy even Rosh blessed? Hashanah. Bro, you've not been authorized to make this. <laughs> what a disgrace to the Jewish people. It's a disgrace. Here, let's hear him. My preachy post. In the Jewish history and the Jewish year and the Jewish time, and um, really an important, probably the second most important day of each year. Um, the day that marks where we start to reflect. Uh, on God, you're so boring, yeah, bro. Also, Astral, great bro. call to be standing right next to the waterfall or whatever is <laughs> yeah. fucking pouring. That you're right Obviously, next to. he has a lot of experience in media. Right. Also, he's like, I want to come out here and just connect with the people on my giant patio with a waterfall <laughs> there, overlooking the city. Loser. 54,000 real people liked it, though. Oh, yeah. New Year coming, and most important, we're supposed to be wishing people a Shana Tova, a Happy New Year. A Shana New Tova to you, my New friend. Year. And the next 10 days are where we're supposed to reflect on all the things That's good. that in the past year we could have done differently. Let's, let's do that, Ryan. A better family member, how we could be yes. a better father, a better okay. son, a better we like brother, this. a better friend, a better business partner. Wait, that's sweet. Better <laughs> business partner. You could really yeah. reflect on that one. He's like, I need to be a better business partner. Bro, I would never include that in my prayer unless you really fucked your business partners. Because that's just business, baby. We'll reflect on the things that we're not as proud of and how we could uh, have done them differently and how we should do them differently this year. Showing us the view. And I nice just view, bro. You shouldn't... Why is he flexing that? He shouldn't show his location like that. Realizing this year, the world has He doesn't know how divided, crazy people are. I'm going to close it. <laughs> He's literally... The world has never been more divided. I, I feel if I showed that much of my yard, people would find where I lived in like half a second. Mm -hmm. Don't, do not do that. I closed it because I want his, because I respect his privacy. Yeah. Don't try to triangulate his position on Google Maps. It's crazy. Not even kidding. Don't, I'm not saying that like sarcastically. Don't do that. Don't bother him, man. He's a good guy. He's reflecting. I, he's reflecting. Let's reflect, Ryan. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> High key clout. Congratulations. Oh, he also left a comment about me. Is this before or after his reflections? I believe it was before. <laughs> <clears throat> I think. This was from a few days ago, so he's still thinking of me. Maybe it was around the same time. Ryan, how do you deal with that hater who wants to warn you? Who wants to harm you with comments without affecting it? Who wrote that? Ryan Kavanaugh. Allegedly. It's one of the That's my speculation. 
but it's speculating based off the fact that we know that he's a fucking loser idiot who would do that. Ryan, how do you deal with that one hater that just, you know, <laughs> he's just the worst and he's always bothering you? And I just love you so much. I'm just a huge fan of all your work, everything you've done. And hang ten to your surfer persona, brother. <laughs> I respond, I have one myself. You realize their hate comes from their own pain, and that pain causes them to think they feel better by harming others. But each time they do it, karma stacks up. Not you, they are hurting, it's themselves. Oh, I forgot to say. What oh, I forgot to say. Oh, oh before I leave. <laughs> oh, P.S. I forgot to say. P.P.S. Because I won in court and he lied to his entire audience as soon as his appeal is lost, they will hopefully recognize the harm they are doing to others on false statements as he will finally be... I don't know what he's talking about. Like, Is it possible it's another <laughs> set of lawsuits that he's in <laughs> he's that we're unaware of? Because this guy seems to be in a lot of lawsuits. I won in court and he lied to his entire audience about... Okay, as soon as his appeal is lost... They will recognize, oh, he's saying, he's talking about the, I see. We have filed an appeal on the anti-slap. So he's saying once we lose the appeal, then we will be forced to go to trial. So it's not even to recognize the harm we're doing. But yeah, go to trial. Yeah, that's not winning. That's just, what? <laughs> he yeah. thinks it's, he doesn't understand that trial's a real thing. He doesn't understand the fucking black hole that is coming for him. He <laughs> thinks he wants to go to trial. He doesn't. Discovery, motherfucker. You and you know what? Because it's about rain. you allegedly running a Ponzi scheme, not my words, that's Friday's, although they amended it. Right. We get to investigate all of your financials. <laughs> oh. Everything is relevant to this. Because if we can prove that you did anything close to a Ponzi, guess what? Not that Case dismissed. Right. Thank you. So we get to investigate your collapsed uh, production company. We get to investigate your trailer investments. We get to investigate your investment company. We get to investigate your personal finances. Oh, and we will. Thank you. We will have lawyers around <laughs> the clock. Probably get some extra hands on deck. There's gonna be a lot of documents to look through. A lot. Angry. And uh, <laughs> also uh, we're gonna depose them. We're gonna depose him good. It's gonna be good. Dude. And I like being sorry. deposed. I mean, I like it. I had fun last time. We'll be on video? It's up to them. We're oh, gonna I record so. with Cap Cavs. They can record it if they want. Sorry. Mm. Usually it's just transcribed. That sounds so fun. Yeah. But it's, I like recording it. Yeah. That's I mean, exciting. we've gotten a lot of really funny deposition videos over the year. <laughs> yep. Angry. And that's then nice. if, if it's relevant, then you can unseal it. Hmm. Nice. But I have a feeling it would be relevant to something. Yeah. This full deposition. We give him a lot of time to reflect. I don't know, though. We'll have, that's, that's for the judge to decide. Yeah. But I'm up for it all, baby. You know I'm crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you. I don't give a shit, yo. Wow. Take it all, man. You have not laid it out like that to me. That is... Very interesting. Oh, about the deposition? Well, yeah, I mean, well, everything you just made makes There's sense. No like, of course, shot. right. You would have a right in Discovery to There is look no into that. shot this man wants to go to Discovery. Because his asshole will be opened wide for me to step into. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. And this man has, he doesn't want me looking in there. He doesn't want anyone this looking in there. This was my ass. Right. He's too drunk to realize that. Then I want you inside of me. I'm gonna get in that ass, brother. <laughs> I can't that wait till you guys are best friends. With a spelunking headset, what? I think you guys are gonna be best friends one day. That's what he thought when this started. Mm -hmm. I still feel that way. <laughs> and I began to slide Well, I thought so too when I saw behind. him at the um, mediation and we shook hands. You're breaking him down, I feel like. And He's I was getting like, more sensitive. And then when I went back in the room, I told the media, let's just meet face to face. We can work this out. And he said no. I think that because if you did get him face to face, he would crumble, he would melt. Maybe. I think it so. It was the worst pain I was think parent I trap have you ever too? felt in my life. I'm gonna get in that ass. <laughs> he got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. Okay. That's me. 
when, and that's me metaf metaphorically doing discovery. On you will not actually and be I doing began to anything slide into physical him or from emotional. Going Kavanaugh. to trial would be the worst decision this man has ever made in his life. And that's that's saying something. Uh, yeah, right. And that's a, that's like the hall of greatness. Yeah, like the Mount Rushmore of mistakes. Mm -hmm. This was my ass. Anyway, shout out Kev Kev. Let's reflect. Let's take these days to reflect. Let's reflect on no, no, no. how much we appreciate our sponsor, <coughs> Stamps.com. We do love our, so our sponsor, Stamps.com. They're great. Stamps.com has been a longtime sponsor and supporter of this show, and I absolutely love and appreciate them so much for that. And their service is just, ooh, ooh. It's a no-brainer. I mean, it really is fantastic, especially with the holiday season coming up. Is your business experiencing a surge of orders? Have you prepared? Or do you want to be taken by surprise? You don't even have to think about it, dude. The holiday rush means more mailing, shipping for your business, but that has to mean more stress. Stamps.com has been helping businesses like yours and mine saving money for 25 years. And they're going to help you get ready for the holiday ramp up. All you need is Stamps.com premium rates for all your postage needs. Let me tell you about Stamps.com. Tell me. Spit it. One. The convenience. Yes, so easy. You, you, they send you a digital scale. You weigh the package. Boom. It tells you the exact postage. You print it on, on your computer. You put it on your uh, package or envelope. And they come get it. What? You can leave it at your door. You can put it in your mailbox. You can put it in a drop box. They'll come. You can schedule a pickup. They will come to your house and get it. No way. But that's not even my, my favorite part is this. They're getting you fat discounts, dude. How much? Get huge carrier discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. 84% off USPS and UPS rates? And I don't know how many of y'all ship things regularly, but the rates on shipping lately have been nuts, dude. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but <clears throat> my girlfriend Allison uses stamps.com. What? Yeah. And I'm really happy that she, she seems to really enjoy it. She enjoys it so much. As an enterprising young capitalist herself, she runs her small business with the help, thanks to Stamps.com. And it's probably so convenient for her. It's so she's easy. Busy. She works from home. The postman comes, picks up the packages. They ship off the stickers and the prints and, and whatever. Discount. It's probably even probably... Up to 84%, I hear. That's a good deal. You know, there's a reason Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. I didn't stutter. That's one... Followed by six zero. That's a lot of business. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need right from your computer anytime, day or night. There's no lines, there's no traffic, there's no waiting. Also, I got a deal. Listen up. Get your business ready for the holiday rush. Get started with Stamps.com today. We'll sign up with the promo code H3 for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com. Click the microphone at the top of the page and enter the code H3. And I'm going to say this again. Enter the code H3. Was it true? Thick. Thank you to Stamps. I really appreciate them. And I hope you all will consider supporting them. Wow. What a oh, read. Thanks, bro. Thanks for... That was good. We did good... Um, a little alley-oop there. there. Yeah, big assist there. Uh, where are we? <laughs> this was pretty disturbing, man. This <laughs> Nico clip that was going viral. He's at like a ball game or something. And these children approach him. Children? I mean, how old are these kids? I don't know. 12? I don't know. Hard to tell. Uh, yeah, probably. probably between ten and twelve, I would say, somewhere yeah, in that range. Older than ten. I yeah, yeah, I guess probably twelve. Could probably be fourteen. Twelve to thirteen. Because they're in like the innocence lost phase. You right. think fourteen, maybe at yeah. older. It's like middle school, yeah, like. <laughs> like 12, end 13. of middle school, though. Let's get eighth, eighth grade, I would say, maybe ninth. So anyway, listen to these children respond uh, to to Sneeko's content. Think so. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the women. No, no, no. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Those kids are in sixth grade. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're seeing middle. them like talk and move, uh, I think they're younger than I was originally thinking. 11 or 12, I would say. 
Sneeko's maturity women. is the exact same. He's just in an older body. <laughs> Sneeko goes, no, we love women. Oh, shit. Okay, because I had the uh, wrong idea then. Uh, I thought we gross? I thought we hated women. Oh, I've been listening wrong. I'm a huge fan, man. We love women. We love women. But not, not like transgenders. Yes, sir. We love everybody. What do you say? But not like transgenders. Oh, good, good, yeah. No, we don't love the transgenders, right, Sneeko? <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, I get why you say it's disturbing. It's, I guess it's a little disturbing, but on the other hand, I think my impression from this was more just embarrassment for Sneeko, like him well, confronting it, the fact that this is, this is your audience. This is what's going on. His audience is children. His audience are children and not just that they're children. It's like, listen, and maybe those kids will grow up and be bigots and assholes or whatever, but like they're barely fucking sentient. He's like, he's literally just like, Parroting, like, well, fuck it, women, fuck women. It is it's like you're like, there's not like any thought going on there. You know what I mean? And like, I, my hope would be that when they get a little older, they realize how fucking lame this is. You know? I hope so, but it is disturbing to see like this influence. I mean, these they walk around school doing this shit. Sure, yeah. You know, fuck the transgenders. It's like what? I mean, there might be already some at his school. I don't know. Who have who have found that part of themselves? All gays should die. Bro. All gays should die. <laughs> what? He said that. Because they think, because they that's what they think Sneeko wants to hear. Dude, that's wild. What did that kid say, that little fucker? <laughs> what did he say? Oh my god. <sighs> they love you, bro. He's like, what have I done? <laughs> yeah. Andrew Tate. So, oh, he said Andrew Tate for Andrew Tate. Free Andrew Tate. Free Andrew Tate. Sneeko finally realized he got himself in a bubble with the red pill content. I mean, I would personally really reverse course if I ever saw this video about my right. Man. Well. But he had a follow-up. He's actually, he's owning it. This is your boy here. They're children and obviously joking. Mm. So obvious they're joking, huh? I don't know they're about not that. joking. They're, no. What's the joke? They came up to you and told you what they thought you would dab them up for. Exactly. You guys think it's a joke? They said, fuck the women, fuck transgenders, and kill all gay people. Yeah. What's the joke there? <laughs> I'm not, I'm failing to see the joke in that statement. This is how I was when I was 12. All kids love Hitler. <laughs> but if it sounds egregious to you, blame the rainbow kids flag in their classrooms. Blame the media for emasculating men. It's your fault for forcing an obvious agenda. Not these kids. Boys will be boys. <laughs> you know, kill all gay stupid. people. Jesus boys will be Christ. boys. Boys will be boys. <laughs> <sighs> Kids love Hitler. It's just boys will be boys. Kids love Hitler, man. Wow. There's more in that album. Oh, there's more in that album. Yeah, sorry. Open it again. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Kids cutting their wieners off like Hasanabi. Ah. What? I know that's men kids making edgy jokes like Sneeko. What the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what? It doesn't mean anything. But, but first of all, saying <coughs> Wait, all gay people, let's say that's not necessarily an edgy joke. That's just hate speech. That's like violent freak shit. Delete me from this conversation. Dude, it's just a joke, bro. <laughs> Kill all gay people. What's not funny about that? Boys will be boys. They're in Sneeko youth. <laughs> um, Sneeko continues Mudahar Thank you Mudahar for speaking uh, truth to power Not really power but just speaking truth uh, If this was my fan base And I met them like this I put a bullet in my head <laughs> Okay I don't condone that Just in case the YouTube people are watching I definitely would never say anybody to do that That's inappropriate right. I don't condone that 
Sneeko said, why can't they realize that kids will never resonate with fat soy boys? Ugh, dude. What it, about the fat soy boy kids? Oh, we got that corner market. Did, uh, there you go. Cornered. Commuted to har. <laughs> when will you understand? Oh, he's such a shitbag. He's so lost in the sauce, man. One day, he's going to wake up lonely, broke, and totally lost. His fans will have grown up. He's going to wake up in a studio apartment at the age of 50, 45. Mm -hmm. Chair in the corner. Carpet, yeah. Dirty carpet. <laughs> cigarette ash everywhere. Girlfriend and lover in the shower. Right. No, no, no. Sneeko's alone in the bedroom. He's Nobody's there. You think no one's there? No, nobody's there. The only people that wow, can she left with the can't other even guy. get cucked right, dude. The only people that have sex with him is prostitutes, mm -hmm. which he goes to frequently. Right. Not there's anything wrong with that. I'm just painting a picture. Right. He's probably picked up drinking as a habit. Probably started to hit. You know, makes him uncomfortable. But he clears half a bottle of vodka every night, and honestly, it started to become more. Like the other night, he finished a whole bottle. Wow. He lost a lot of hair too. Starting it's earlier in the day, too. Out. Yeah. Like on the back of the head. And mm -hmm. you know what he has on the TV? I'm drunk. Old YouTube videos of him talking to Andrew Tate. Uh, just right. to remember the good times. Yeah. I'm the drunk. Golden. Reminiscing. Mm -hmm. Just kind of vacillating between sadness and anger. He doesn't have it anymore. How the fuck and he'll be like, he'll be like, oh. when will kids understand? They're not going to listen to fat soy boys. Mm -hmm. I'm drunk. They're gonna then listen he's... to best boys like me who pulled out their Glock and threaten Penguin Zero. Wait, what? Remember that one time yeah. when he pulled out his uh fucking what was it called? Oh, his uh, and then uh Charlie pulled out his bigger gun in his <sighs> video. <laughs> right. You know what? He probably goes to the bar near the school. Goes out there when the buses come by, eyeballs the. The girls. It's no. very, it makes them all very uncomfortable. And they all talk about how creepy he is. And that they hope he never tries to talk to them in person. In fact, the guards at the school have even been warned about him. They've, they've, they've told the guards, the principal, the teachers, that this man makes us very uncomfortable. Can you please keep an eye on him? And they do. They do keep an keep eye on you. Keep a close eye. And so does the state. Because you've been on the sex offender registry for a while now. He's been on the sex offender registry for a while now, and he doesn't, he's not going to move because he can't stomach going to another family and telling them. Having to do that humiliating walk of shame around the neighborhood. Do it again. You know. It doesn't matter that you think having sex with a 15-year-old isn't a crime. It is a crime. Yeah, your opinion doesn't matter in this case. This is all um, hypothetical. This yeah, this is speculative. We're just kind of projecting into the future here. I'm just telling a story. This yeah. isn't based on reality. Right. 16 is the age of consent. This dude has like 10 different fleshlights. And he'd buy more, but he can't afford it. Are any of them real rare, <laughs> rare finds? And one of them is the uh, chandelier from <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, yeah. One of them's Thomas the, the train. Uh, he's going to be fine. I'm sure of it. Nico, you're gonna do just fine. Out he's there. on a good path. He is. He's on a good. He's on a good path. <laughs> he's doing really good. I'm happy for him. I'm fine, people. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes me feel better than talking to ten year olds and then going, "What have I done?" Yeah. He's. I'm happy about that actually. He's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, ten year old fan right away. <laughs> Yo, Mitt Romney is not. I'd usually call based. But I. Oh, let's not forget this tweet, man. This motherfucker actually put this out here. Yo, yeah, that's some crazy shit right now. I made a confession in my new video. <laughs> oh, I forgot about movie. the whole cutie stand thing. Okay. It's okay. I go to the gym. Don't worry about it. I love my cuties. I've got it on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. VHS? Yeah, he got it all. In He's this a collector. 
Wow. I watch Cuties. Sometimes there's a special quality to Cuties on VHS you don't get from Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. This, like the messed up tracking and kind of... It's lo lower quality, so you can use your imagination more. He's got the laser disc. He's got the Betamax. <laughs> That's kind of fucked what I said. But it's him saying that, not me. I you say that. All right, let's move on. Mitt Romney's base is AF, dude. <laughs> He's a billionaire, right? Or close to? He's a billionaire, yes. And like the worst way too, like investment funds bullshit, right? Uh, I think it's a little more complicated than that. He's sort of a uh, big criticism of him. I remember when he was running against Obama was that uh, Bain Capital is the name of the firm that he founded. Bain. Bain. Yo, you, hey, just, yo, your your investment firm is named after a Batman villain, <laughs> and uh, and I believe uh, they specialized in like liquidating companies. So they're right. they're kind of like a vulture capitalist organization, essentially. Even worse, right? So yeah, not not. Yeah. With all that being said, though, even our boy, mm -hmm. vulture capitalist Mitt Romney, is out here with some good ass takes. Listen to him; I love this. I just don't think that we need another person in their 80s. Uh, I'm a little long of tooth already. We don't need more like me. But I do think that, that the times we're living in really demand the next generation to step up and, uh, and express their point of view and to make the decisions that will shape our American politics over the coming century. Thank you, dude. And just having a bunch of guys who were around, the baby boomers, who were around in the post-war era, we're not the right ones to be making dude. the decisions for tomorrow. So, do you well, so well said, too. I do agree with everything he just said. Can't, I think it's, can't it's really nice that. to see somebody in that world saying it, you know? Like, you know, you gotta plant a tree for the next generation type of shit. Or, you know, Mitch McConnell's sitting there with half a fuck functioning brain. <laughs> somehow trying to lead yeah. Bennett. Madness. So, shout out Mitt. We love you for that. Also, Jordan Peterson is out here with some deep thoughts. Co-signed by Elon Musk. Really interesting stuff here. Uh, Jordan tweeted out the PhD in psychology, deep thinker. One of the greatest thinkers of our time, some say. Hate speech is inevitably defined by those who hate speech. Elon Musk said, touche. Douche. Thank you. It's like a uh, Jaden Smith tweet. Kind of. Yeah, it so is. Yeah, he's also hate defining hate speech here too. So, oh my God, like, can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world? Right yes, now? we should have listened to Jaden. Should have listened to Jaden. It's also it's like all hate speech. So you saying all hate speech is legit? All hate speech is dub. Wait, what? what he's saying? Hate speech. Hate speech is defined by those who hate speech. Therefore, hate speech. Before it's been judged by people who hate speech, is dope and fire, free speech, fire, dope shit, like kill all gays. <laughs> is that dope hate speech? Do you not follow? I, I follow I, yeah. I, I, it sounds like love's got you. I, I, yeah, it's a little too advanced for my, for my brain, I think. No hate speech is hate speech. He says all hate speech is quit, it's okay. Yeah. Right. He has like, no problem with hate speech because the only people that hate hate speech are those that hate speech. You know, the people who define hate speech, hate speech. Okay, then it means the same thing still. Right. Hate speech is only defined by people that hate free speech. Damn. Right. Like, for example, killing all gay people. Right, which is just a which joke. Which is one of C. Nico's fans said. So people that don't like people saying kill all gay people. Right. Maybe it is deep. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's twisting... Twisting my brain. Touche, my brother. Touche. Here is my dude. <laughs> I love, I love, just touche. What did, <laughs> okay. He's literally defining hate speech in this tweet. That's oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How many layers deep does this go? Because he's saying hate speech is defined is as defined. People who hate speech. Dude, what the fuck? Yo, by your logic, bro. By your own logic, bro. Here's a peek into your future, uh, Sneeko. Six years old, honk if you love cuties. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> it's true. 
Yeah, that is true. <laughs> you know this how how stained his carpet is. <laughs> Bad. Still That's a eyebrow. crazy thing to put on a school bus. That's a real crazy thing to put on a school bus. Sneaker, Sneaker would do that. He though. did you do that. Yeah. He did it. He does not age well. Wow. No. He's got a lot of. Still doing the eyebrow slit. Yeah. That's, That's cool. just fire. The yeah. On the sick. That's, That's sick. Cool. Timeless sickness, bro. It's very in. That's timeless fucking dope shit, brother. <laughs> fucking love that shit. Bro. Anyway. Jimmy Lee was on the Howie podcast. It happened, you guys. Wow. He made it. He really made it. I'm so happy, man. It happened so fast. Like a whirlwind romance. <laughs> In love one minute, gone the next. Just like Casablanca. Just wasn't meant to be. Star-crossed lovers in the truest sense of the word. We'll always have Paris. We'll always have the podcast, Jimmy said. <laughs> yeah, dude. And also, it's getting good views. Like, better than, Bruh. like, for example, JoJo who? What? Who? 42,000. Jimmy Lee, 115,000 in one day. That Damn. is crazy. Especially yo, because JoJo yo. was talking about the Colleen stuff. Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. And we were talking about it. I thought more people go watch it. Right. Jo, jo. He has the most views since basically Bill Burr. He's a funny guy. Another Mark comedian. Norman has a little more, but Joe, Joe, uh, Jimmy's going to pass him. Yeah. Go ahead. I would just say another fellow comedian, Bill Burr. Oh, Dr. Mike was on his show? It only got 77,000. What an idiot loser. I don't know. People like Dr. Mike, I guess. I like him. He's a nice guy. You do? Mm hmm He sucker punched Ian. It's hard to get past that. <laughs> that being said, he's, I mean, you know, he's hot. So he's got that going for him, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. That carries a lot of weight. It does. He's hot as fuck, dude. dude Have y'all seen him shirtless? He's so sexy. So there's that to consider, which I didn't until now. But um, anyway, Jimmy's crushing it, man. No, you know why is we Jimmy need... having a moment, like a real moment? Because <laughs> now that. maybe what will happen is other... Oh, dude, listen to this shit. <laughs> Jimmy hits me up. And says, do you want Carrot Top on your show? And he sends me a picture of him with Carrot Top. And I'm thinking, there's no damn way he can get me Carrot Top. Not that I think that Carrot Top <laughs> is like a super hard get. I mean, peace and love. I like Carrot Top. I like him. Mm -hmm. I always laugh when I see his bits, man. But I'm like, Jimmy doesn't, he can't get me in, buddy. Right. So I said, yes, Jimmy, I want Carrot Top, just to see if he could do it. He sent us a number. I shit you not. Zach te texted it today. Right, <laughs> Zach? He's going to put me in touch with his PR later. Are we comfortable saying that was Carrot Top's personal number? He responded to you immediately. Yeah, <laughs> Which pretty is a quick. little bit sus. <laughs> is that Jimmy's second phone? I well, I said, have him send him a, a blank photo with the date I just right. I don't think it's like that hard of a get you know and the way that Jimmy met him like dude K carrots not giving his personal number out I, I wouldn't put down the ways of the dr. Wiener man yeah I was saying he's he's too powerful now because the combination of a million followers plus being on Howie's podcast mm -hmm. I feel like that's gonna get him a lot of interviews and the way he speaks, it he just like he presents himself that a in a way that he is so famous. <laughs> yeah, he's so good at that. Too. Yeah, he's really he's good. Super good he's, at pretending. He, he like, believes it. The world. It's not I mean, a lie if you watching. believe it. Another Costanza quote. Mm -hmm. He's the definition of fake. It's he told how he had a TV show. Yeah, a TV show. He's got a movie coming up. Mm -hmm. Documentary. Two. He's got two, two movies. Oh yeah, he's doing everything. God, not wrong. It's so not a lie if you so believe busy. it. So you know, some funny. people say Aristotle's a good thinker. I think Costanza's the best thinker Can't for our time. Can't stand ya. Um, but I actually, I'd, I'd have Carrot on the show. Mm -hmm. I like Carrot. I think he's funny, man. People, people, people give him a hard time because he does props, but he's, he's funny. Carrot! Yo, you know, I think Carrot's ready to have a second, second uh, chairman of the board. Oh, yeah. Part two. Talking about carrot? Yeah, he he deserves another shot at chairman of the board. Carrot. Carrot had uh, 
Carrot. Carrot was a participant in one of my favorite episodes of Reno 911. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, for real? Did you I, used to watch that show? Yeah, I did, but I didn't see the Carrot Club. Yeah, he. I think he was, they were, he murdered somebody in a hotel or something. He's so funny, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was pretty funny in it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gets a bad, I don't know why people give him such a bad rap, man. He's fu he's a funny dude. It's anti-ginger uh, ginger discrimination. So I'm like, okay, let's bring Carrot on the show. Fuck, you know what I mean? If Jimmy's going to get the hookup, this is it, eh? Yeah, Reno 911 at its peak was a funny show, dude. So good. It's way ahead of its time. So funny, man. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there he is. So, so I thought it was interesting. But, yeah, I mean, Jimmy, you know how it works. One thing happens. And then Steve Rossi messages like Bobby Lee, mm -hmm. PR people, and then they go, oh, he was on H3, he was on Howie. Okay, we need a guest next week. Jimmy Lee might start making the rounds. <laughs> okay. And I swear to God, nothing would make me happier than to see that. It, it, it's like, unle I'm Dr. Frankenstein. And he is my Frank, he's my monster. <laughs> It's alive. it's alive. It's alive. He's viral comedian, Jimmy Lee. I'm like the dude, I'm like the scientist in Wuhan who invented COVID. Yep. That's hotly debated. That's hotly debated. Sure. We don't know if that actually <laughs> Jimmy happened. Jimmy Lee the monster. No, I love Jimmy. So let's let's look at some of the highlights. I actually thought it was quite good, the interview. Jimmy was good. He wasn't he didn't push too hard. It was like a nice mix between James Weiner and Jimmy Lee. Let's take a look. This type of comedy and people, Jacqueline, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline, people that are young are, are loving me, which I was surprised. Like, <laughs> I have a lot of young fans that like this, and I'm surprised, Harry, because I'm an older guy, and I grew up with Don Rickles and Roddy Dangerfield and you and Red Fox, yes. and that's the comedy I like, and that's what I do. And it seems to be getting accepted in this politically correct culture for some he just put Rodney Dangerfield Red Fox and Howie Mandel <laughs> he grew up watching them yeah, yeah. yeah. let's go back to that. that Jimmy grew up watching totally Howie he grew up watching Howie I mean he's Howie a 90s was kid he was a big act <laughs> he, he loved Bobby's world Bobby's was yeah he was right there man <laughs> Eddie Murphy grew up watching him yeah after after school every day Jimmy just sitting cross-legged on the <laughs> floor of the uh, of the playroom Watching Bobby's World. Absolutely. Those are good old days, dude. Yeah. I love how he goes, the young people love my act. And then also he talks about how people are throwing tomatoes at him nonstop. <laughs> That's actually really funny when he gets into that. The people do love him, though. That's, he's like a whole paradox, man. Jimmy is a whole paradox of a human being. He's one of a kind. Oh, and wow. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, sandwiches are here. Comedian? No, yeah. my oh, one my son is reserved like my wife. My wife's Asian. She's quiet. And the other one's a little nutty like me. She's Colby. Asian and quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how we, when I, even when quiet. you're not doing your shtick, you know you're so saying me. things that could get you in trouble. <laughs> but when I think about my wife, I, I get a little hungry, you know, because she's Asian. <laughs> But Howie, when I even when, when you're not doing your shtick, you know you're saying things that could get you in trouble. But when I think about my wife, I, I get a little hungry, you know, because she's Asian. <laughs> Don't say it again. <laughs> That's the problem. Are we gonna get uh, no, all right? Fantastic. <laughs> um. <laughs> when a joke makes everyone in the room like go like okay oh, right. there was oh, one with is. the craziest crickets yeah. was that the gay one which one was that that was the gay one yes dude you all <laughs> gotta see this dude this is uh, this is s tier called content. on the carpet <laughs> oh my god hmm? <laughs> you called her on the carpet i that? did I but know. wouldn't you be ashamed of your child if they did that yeah absolutely what should you as a as a fellow especially parent, i have sons yeah so i wouldn't want them to do that you wouldn't want them to do what? What you said. Blowjobs. Yeah. Because they're guys. They're guys. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> gay community. <laughs> you know, I took one of my friends. How we on a gaycation? Everybody came. It was good. Oh, he just fell right back on the gaycation. <laughs> <laughs> he saved it though. He saved I it. I heard the laughter in the in the back room. I was... Oh, Howie! Every time we fly, we sit in the cockpit. Room. He's a nice guy. Hey. 
He's a good guy. I took him to London, Howie, to find out, to see Big Benny. Found out it was a clock. He got pissed and left. He's not even talking to me now. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> uh, we haven't even established who he is. Yeah, who's he in this scenario? <laughs> he starts playing the hits, you know? Yeah. But I love it because it's like, what do you say in <laughs> the <laughs> face of such, such words? And they're, they're just, they're rendered speechless. Jacqueline, you know, you know, you know my ass doctor, Dr. Bendover? Why was my comment about the blowjob inappropriate, but now... You know my doctor, Dr. Bendover? I don't. He's got brown fingernails. I don't go back. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> what did he say? I was he took, wild. He took, hey, Jacqueline, he uh, took 50%. Why me? Why <laughs> he he loves, just like, I love when Jack, he does that. Yeah. He's the new good. Olive. Right. Now, he focuses in on somebody. Yeah. Isn't that he, right, Olive? He finds a prey. I love that. I've been Colin. calling Olivia Olive ever since Jimmy was Pretty here good. last love week. It. it is pretty good. Out and I told Howie I'm doing everything half ass. <laughs> I got problems, Jacqueline. <laughs> Sounds like guy got a shitty attitude. Mm -hmm. nothing's, uh, like... nothing's easy. Uh -huh. My dentist is a beaut. <laughs> I said, Doc, I got yellow teeth. He said, Go, I'm gonna wear a brown necktie. <laughs> yeah, my dentist what? is a beaut. I don't get my... that one. <laughs> to counterbalance. To counterbalance it. Okay. I it's guess. Like, yeah. Like when I was wife. a kid and I had braces, I had the porcelain ones. And I got yellow rubber bands because I thought it would make my teeth look whiter. That's it actually did not. smart. It did not. <laughs> it did not. I thought I was smart. I think it's smart. Oh, it might just make them look more yellow, too. It did. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, photos of me smirking instead of smiling. Oh, brother. My doctor's no better. Mm -hmm. He told me he had six cases of VD in last week, but he's all right now. He gave himself a shot of penicillin. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinny Bombots. How he knows him. That's how we can't even look at him. <laughs> He, I was like, what did Ethan play. get me into? But he said it was amazing. He liked it. Okay. Okay. I'm glad he had a good time. They both did. By the end, they kept saying they were like calling each other family. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Jimmy was. No, how he was saying it back. He was no, like, you're he, like Uncle Jim. The first part known right is now. like, he's like, we're family now. Not mainstream. Let's check out some more highlights. I can be seen and be more mainstream known. Right now, I'm H3 branded. I'm not mainstream branded. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way. Whoa. I mean. Hold on. I, Howie, <laughs> don't put this on me. You made this choice. Look at the title. Jimmy Lee from Ethan Klein's H3 <laughs> podcast crosses line. Hey, he does not work for me. <laughs> I got nothing to do with nobody. I don't know nothing about nobody, Howie. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh. You got to put my name and the podcast? Why don't you put my address, too? My P.O. box. Where to send the, the suits? Three is trying to do... Ethan called me and said, book, and I would do anything for Ethan. I love Ethan. I, I owe Ethan the world for you. Hold wow. On. I love Howie. I love wow. Howard, man. He's the fucking best. I hope we didn't burn a big favor on Jimmy Lee no, with this liked one. It. Though. He, oh. No, he's happy. He's happy with it. Okay. And the episode's doing really well. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's a dub. True. That's true. Um, man, it's so cool what happened between me and Howie that we're such tight dogs now. Who thought him stalking, in the par stalking me in the parking lot of a Malibu outdoor mall would result in a beautiful friendship like this? I'll, I did not. I'll take my thanks in the form of a Sentence because you, from you, why you talked me into reaching I out. talked you into because doing I was it with like, him. I don't know. You wanted nothing to do with Howie Mandel. You Not because nothing I just to do with him. him. I was just and being, I said, I just, Howie is a nothing. comedy legend. He's very, very, very funny. America's uncle. See, I, I knew. Think, People I, don't know that he's actually he's funny. Howie's the funny. thing is, I um, I thought he was just too vanilla and it'd be boring. That's all. Nothing gets him personally. Yeah, no, I get it. But I was dead wrong. So thank you, Dan. It's true. I do owe you for talking oh, so to that. Oh, it's nothing. it's nothing. Well, I feel like the prolapse definitely helped his case. You know, as far that was after, not after our interview with him, though. The uh, the prolapse was after Ethan went on his show the first time. Are we oh, sure he about came that? on our show for the first time after the prolapse. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we contacted him pre-prolapse. You were Correct. on his show first. Yes. Which was great. That was a good show. How Ethan gave me, I'm not going to pan up to it, but Ethan gave me that painting right there. You see that painting up yeah. there? What is that? 
a prolapse. Oh, see, oh, I didn't even know. That. I didn't. He's a doctor. How do you know, no. How do you know that's the first person that looked at that and said prolapse? <laughs> yeah. I guess he's a doctor, yeah. I mean, he's in dentistry. How many prolapses have you seen? Seen one? You've seen them all? Oh, I watched it. I watched it. Jacqueline, I watched it. I was hysterical. I watched it before the live show. Um, I know. Uh, oh, I have another scandal that's going on that maybe we can have his take on. Okay. And then um, talking about his music career. Really big stuff here. I'm an accomplished singer songwriter. Accomplished. Pull up, pull up, uh, Kid Vegas, Jimmy Lee. Pull up the video. Oh, Kid, Kid Vegas? Kid Vegas, Jimmy Lee, yeah. Before Jersey Outlaw. You changed yeah. from Kid Vegas? No, Kid Vegas is a song. It's, I wrote this, and you got to watch the music. Can video. I play it? And oh, not that's it right it? there. Watch that. Watch that. Okay. Yeah, this I is wrote a... this whole song, and we did a music video. Okay. This was on radio. So this was like a long time. This is before I did comedy, though. It's there, Dad. Oh, I haven't seen this. <laughs> or I hadn't seen this. How many views did it have? I did music a long time. We're not going to get claimed for this shit, are we? I checked the episode. It didn't get claimed. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. I roll in the chair with my snitch. Yeah. Ooh. Because I like the wind and look with my Adidas sweat suits. Wearing a smile, carrying a lot of clothes. I got the headphones on for that. His fingers on the... So cute. Oh, he's listening so intensely. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's a meme template Ooh. for sure. Oh, this is fucking fire, man. You guys go, go ahead and just meme the shit out of it. By the way, and another funny and weird thing about Jimmy is he is a very, very talented piano player and musician. He is. Yeah, no. Yeah, he's, he, he is a musician. He's Billy Joel. He's got the song in the dance. Do you guys hear him in that? Like, I know that's him, but I'm trying to... I did. When I, I need him. I need to see him sing live. When I heard it more, like... Yeah. Intimately, it definitely sounds like he, him. He calls me all the time, like, just cold calls me and starts playing the piano. Aw. He starts what? He starts, like, playing the piano and starts doing, like, playing, like, Springsteen songs and shit. Like... Dude, he's such an interesting guy, man. I don't know what to say. Jimmy is just an endless enigma. His dream is to go to a piano bar with me. Oh. And I keep telling him no. I think he needs to open Why? for... You know, no. I think... I just said his name. How do I forget it? Billy Joel should open for Jimmy Lee at Madison Garden. Wow. Yeah. Billy Joel should open for Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Step aside. Vegas. So. Okay, horn he's section. Kid, That's kind of awesome. He's Kid Vegas. He's Kid Vegas, bro. Is this another kind of persona of his? Like how Zach has like Lou and all those? I don't know, but he's oh, Kid Vegas. Every time we fly, we sit in the cockpit. Room. Yep, so go watch it. I mean, the whole thing is pretty fun. And shout out to Howie for, for doing that. I, I truly... Uh, I truly love this collaboration. There, it's been really fun. There, the last... Timestamp in there. I just like there, there's two moments where he keeps asking to get a picture with Howie. He's like, it's for social media. It's for the social media. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> like the last. <laughs> I found it so music. Exactly. That's kind yeah, of she's yeah. Asian. Yeah. She's Asian and she likes to drink. That's two kinds of I can't drive. <laughs> there. He I, loved, love I love you. And laugh. Jeremy's sitting beside him. <laughs> sitting beside Christ. Kyle going, now. <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> Who's that behind the glass? Kyle and, and uh, Jeremy. How you doing, Kyle? Good to see you back in men's clothes. You look good. It's been a while. Still do trick with the monkey? That is a fan of the show, by the way. Cool dude. Shout out. He's the one that hooked up with that pillow, I think. Oh. Oh, nice. He's so not he wearing the headphones. Oh. He can't tell. No, that. that's okay. <laughs> Kyle, you still do trick with the horse? Yeah. With Trixie? Yeah. Okay. I saw you in Vegas last year. You missed it. Do it. <laughs> do, hit it. <laughs> I saw you in Vegas last year. Do you know the hookers in Vegas drop it, drape it, and droop it? In your case, they droop it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go you ahead. didn't know that? No. Yeah. I was what? with a hooker last night. I dropped my pants. He dropped her price. <laughs> 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 hookers in New York, they meet you, greet you, and eat you. It's a little different over there. You follow me? No. Oh, I don't understand the hooker one. Is he saying he's... What does he mean by that? 
What what did they see that they lowered the price? His penis being small. They felt bad for him. Yeah. Because if they lowered the price, that would imply that they liked it more. Mm. Uh, that's one way you can interpret it. But I, I think I'm gonna he's... cut you a deal so you come back. Right. I think it's more just they felt bad. It's like easier. Work. So the like bigger his, your dick, his, the his... more expensive it is. I, I suppose mm. that is. The I think it's just so small that it was just so pathetic that they <laughs> felt bad and they okay. gave a steep discount. Yeah, that's my read. Okay. I think you need to watch the Rodney Dangerfield Joe compilation that he stole it from. Too. Right. <laughs> the full. Uh, we don't talk about that game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. Do you follow me? No. You don't follow me. Jacqueline. Say yes. Yes. You follow yes. me. Yes. Follow me. I'll call the cops. I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I got problems. I got two kids in private school. They won't even tell me where it is. <laughs> they told the kid to form a double line and went get, had cocaine. Cocaine. What? Cocaine. Uh, they don't get Two, it. On the oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, it's 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 rough out there. It's a rough world too. All right. Uh, Siamese twins can't even make ends meet. <laughs> good one. That's a good one. You, you want to do a closer? Want to like the podcast is kind of. Yo, that sandwich slapped hard as a fuck, dude. That is Boston. Yeah, this place rocks. That, that sandwich just fucked my mouth, dude. For real. Yeah. I just, I just tagged on the cock of that sandwich. <laughs> too vel too graphic. No, that's alright. Damn, that was so good. Did you get the same thing as me? Nah, I got the bacon chicken. Bacon know. chicken. Bacon, salad, I don't know. It's just good. I just eat it. They say it's all about the bread, but I have to say, I also like what's in, it's about what's in between the bread as well. I agree. Bread comes. It needs to have both. I was not a sandwich. Bread comps, Dan? Bread, bread comps. Bread comps? Um, bread comp? What the fuck? You okay? I'm going to do a closure. I want to say... Uh, to Howie Mandel and his daughter, you made a little guy from New Jersey feel a little bit important. I love you both for believing oh, in listen, me and having yeah. me on today. Well, I can't Not thank even you enough for coming. I love you guys. I I, well, we love you. Um, you are really, really interesting. I, I want you to get everything that you want. I want you also oh. to be... Careful, you, Howie. I want you to be careful because as nice. somebody, I want you to be nice. Be a nice guy. No, but I, you know, the internet is a scary place right now, mm -hmm. and people are really sensitive. And oh. I, I want you to, you know, just have fun, be happy, be healthy. He's histrionic, and, uh, Howie. Don't push. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> and I want to thank. Uh, Where's Ethan the picture part coming up? Yeah, yeah, it's like right when they go to cars. It was audio. Fun, we had a fun. That was fun. Yeah, it was a fun nice. time. And uh, also for putting a lot of our uh, staff to work. I want to thank <laughs> Kyle and Jeremy, who just have the confused looks on their face. Like, uh, we've never had to work this hard. <laughs> How you doing, Kyle? How you feeling, baby? Doing all right. Yourself? I spoke to the brothers. You're going to be all right. You'll be here at East LA. Oh, God, not the brothers. In the brothers, truck in about no. an hour and a half. With Leroy. You know Deacon Leroy? He's coming to pick you up. He doesn't know when to press that button. <laughs> he doesn't push the button. Well, he, he, well he's waiting for, he's the, waiting he's waiting for the, the... He wants to know when the punchline punch was. Well, I don't think... Was there a punchline on there? Okay, now. Okay. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Husband Jacqueline. I'm going to fast forward. <laughs> Love you guys. And, and people I feel subscribe. I'm part of the family now. You are. You're like my uncle. Oh, I do want to... Um, oh. See, we'll it's, now, again, Howie is 67, I think. And he said Jimmy is like his uncle. Yeah. So you guys do the math on that one. Yeah, he's 67. Air before Saturday or no? No. Well, okay. it'll air before a Saturday. <laughs> okay, no, I have a comedy TV shoot on the 16th all around Hollywood. Well, is there somewhere where they can Saturday. go find, like, your comedy stuff? or what? To, Yeah, they can go to... Go uh, jamesweiner.com. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, James... No, how we lead the Jersey out, Outlaw and Natasha. And I had some gay ah. gas for asking. Okay, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so where's the I'm picture right. part? Gas yes. this morning. I thought I was being followed you by like two just hours. Passed it, burped up some Yeah, I, I it's had at some the gas. End. At the end. Rabbi I came away. <laughs> <came in. clears throat> this is killing me. Let me reclick the. the let me reclick. Okay, like, hmm? You just burped up some Yeah, I, I had some gas this morning. I thought I was being followed by two Arabs.
What? <clears throat> I'm all right now, but bro, oh. that's not a good one. We t- I tried to oh tell him God. so many times. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. Either. That's one of that's probably one of the most offensive. No, because Arabs smell like farts. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's but crazy. There, are... he's got to stop with. Those I've tried. Like... I've tried. <laughs> oh my god! We tried to have interventions. Be like, dude, cut this one. Don't do that one. It's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> but he brought it back, man. He almost made it through, but then god he just damn. couldn't resist. But thanks for asking. Okay, no laughter that, from no. that one. <laughs> <laughs> you let me in. Where's the picture one? Dude, it's audio. Just play it. Keep playing it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did with Carson, you did with Rookies. <laughs> hey, how can I get a, a Danny to take a picture with yeah. me in the middle with that? Yeah. <laughs> That's viral. Thank you. That's viral. I really. Anyway, go watch it, guys. It's good. good. After you watch this entire podcast, though, of course. And any other podcast of mine that you haven't watched every second of, then you can go. Um, you heard from Carrot Top's publicist, Zach? I did. Go ahead. Uh, they reached out, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on getting a date, uh, possibly in October. Is he? Does Carrot want to come in? Yes, it would be in person. Oh my god! Because he he's Mister Vegas. He's gonna fly out here. They they gave me a date that won't work because it's on the uh, weekend. But we're we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna get work. Carrot Top in studio. We're gonna get Carrot Top in studio. I feel like Jimmy has a right to be there. Yeah, he's gonna make you pay to fly. Dan, out. Carrot's coming. <laughs> Wait, it's an oil joke. Yeah, because he's saying Arabs smell like gas. Oh, oh, like yeah. Oh, okay. Interrupt. But he now said fart. It. He says okay. That's <laughs> not as bad as saying they smell like <laughs> yeah. farts, but yeah. it's still bad. That's funny. But I, you really have to think deep to pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Moving on. This one kind of tickled me a little bit. I got to be honest. I saw. I've seen this on TikTok. How often do you guys? Think about the Roman Empire. How often, Dan? Genuinely. How often? <laughs> like, be honest. I'm gonna get roasted for this. Go ahead. Some we were talking about it yesterday, and I thought about it. I would say probably two to three times a week. Yo, I agree with you. <laughs> That's so sick. Is that the best question ever? <laughs> yeah. Two to three? How do you think about it that much? <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you come to it from all sorts of different angles. Wow. It's like, you know, it's an Two important turning point in history. Yeah. Wow. I, I feel like in my brain I get like a flash of the Coliseum yeah. frequently. Like yeah, I, yeah. it's a familiar image in my mm, mind. We, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I say every day, honestly. Every, every day? day? Maybe I see the Coliseum every day in my brain. I don't know. It so, could be. So many American aesthetics are like based off that neoclassical Roman Empire. Too. Yeah, how often do you think about the Roman Empire, Cam? What's Mul- that? Okay. Uh, multiple times a week, I'd say. I don't know. Like, wow. Yeah. Ian? I don't know, like once every six months or something. I don't know. <laughs> Not often. What? That's what. That's kind of what. I, where I was. I was thinking maybe once or twice a month. But what about mm. since Elon and Mark have been talking about their fight? I've been thinking a lot about the Roman Empire because I've just been like, wow. Imagine if this was back in the day and Facebook was back in the day. Oh, and we settled things. And they by, went and uh, we settled. Via I have thought about that. Like that. Oh, yeah. You know, I watch like documentaries at least once a week. That's about, true. <laughs> yeah. How much awesome. is there to learn, dude? I, yeah. My my for you page and stuff. It comes up every now and then. Give me one. Well, give me one fun fact about the Roman Empire. Like they built their roads super far, and okay. they still last. And for example, in like Pompeii, they built the roads with step stones in them so when the sewage like flowed you can step on the step stones that is a fun ah. fact yeah and, but also mm-hmm. between the step stones they made it so that the wheels on the carriage can go between the step stones nice isn't that sick that is, that is sick. sick yeah zach how many times do you think about the roman empire same with, with same as the in answer uh just once every six months yeah like that i don't know about two or three times a week That's you gotta step intense. it up dude I mean, you come to it from all kinds of angles. It has had a lasting cultural impact Can we on do Western civilization. As we as we do a, a week of shows, mm-hmm. we do it starting tomorrow 
or today, let's ta- try to tally every time we mention the, anything related to the Roman Empire. Well, it doesn't come up on the show very often. Well, we talk here for four or five. And that hours. wasn't the question. I, if the question is how often do I talk about the Roman Empire, that's a very different answer. So in your mind, you're going it. through yeah, all know. the finer points of history. <laughs> That's interesting, though. Isn't that funny? Because it's not just history, bro. We're we're Talk still living in it. That's the thing. True. You got to expand your mind, bro. So important. The Romans have done it all. It's so, so important, you guys. So, 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 so important. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm surprised by some of your answers. That's very cool. <laughs> the joke, I guess, was that uh, when girls ask their boyfriend... They were always like, I think about it. And then the ladies are always like, I don't, what, what? But Olivia is is uh, with the Roman Empire. Only because, I think really only because I've, Elon Musk has been pushed in my face the so gla- frequently. The gladiator The aspect. gladiator of Elon. Mm-hmm. And I just have that image. So it might just be extra pertinent right now, but. And Sam, what is the Roman Empire? And how often do you think about it? Oh, she's not there. Sam? The one girl day. Sam? Kim Kardashian. You're gone. Oh, Wait, there you she go. She gave me Aww. my sandwich. What's that happen? She thinks about the it's the Greeks more. Probably. <laughs> the Greeks? That's more okay. Of a Greek fan, I think. Mm-hmm. What, like salad dressing? Yeah. Feta Please. cheese? All right, let's move on. God damn it. <laughs> All right, we've been going 2.30. Oh, what? We've only gone an hour and a half. It feels like hell longer. (laughs) Well, that's good. We have plenty of time left for uh, our main stories. So we have Russell Brand. We've got um, eight passengers. And we've got, oh, God, Dr. Kenny is good. But that, we got to do Swoop first. All right, let's just start with Swoop. There it is. Swoop. There it is. Yeah. This is a crazy one. I need, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. And then we can get into it. If that's okay. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we'll get right that's into the swoop de doop de doo chill, dog. Yes, Be sir. right back. That's totally chill, dog. Ethan kind of talks like this today. <laughs> it's kind of chill, dog. Um, listen, I knew I was going to get judged hard for that Roman thing when I saw that that was in the dock, but I got to be honest with you folks. Amen. That's what makes the show interesting, right? And I'm glad to hear I wasn't alone. Thank you for backing me up, Cam. Oh, I mean, I'm a history nerd too, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. I'm just a big history nerd. And when you read about history, it's inescapable, you know? Mm -hmm. I never think about the Holy Roman Empire, though. Fuck Fuck them. Losers. L. Fucking (laughs) Crusades. Fuck that shit. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. I saw a super chat a minute ago. I think you know they expired. built aqueducts from hundreds of miles. <laughs> Are we yeah, talking no. about the irrigation Bro. system? <laughs> yeah. and they, they, they like made it so it just a slight degree down. Right. For miles and miles and miles, the water flows nicely. I've been seeing a lot of stoic philosophy on the uprise too mm-hmm. online yeah. and online yeah. circles. You mm-hmm. know, Marcus Aurelius. For better or worse. The last great Roman Empire as the, er, emperor, as he's called. Uh, it's awesome. Meditations about it. Mm-hmm. And they had yeah. pipes in their house. Isn't that crazy? That yeah, they, they could go poo. Faucets. Absolutely. That wasn't like how uh, long we, time ago. Were we talking about the Roman Empire? Was <laughs> we do. Yeah. And we, uh, Ethan asked your opinion, and you weren't here, so actually, maybe you can chime in now. I actually do think about it kind of often. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Go. That's Thank my girl. Thank you, Sam. I, yeah. I I really am into like ancient Rome, and I was a Latin student for. Four, five years. Well, girl. there you go. It's I'm that like, Catholic upbringing. I don't know. I think Solway. that it's cool. I wanted to get like ancient Rome, like tattoos once. Mm. I never did, but I don't know. I kind of do think about it. Love that. I miss her. Mm. You want to get matching <laughs> ancient her. Roman tattoos? <laughs> yeah. You and me? Yeah. Let's yeah. Get, like the Colosseum or something. Let's get the gladiators so cool. on our hips. <laughs> be so cool. Um, why can't I fucking find these super chats? Ethan was right. The system sucks. You're doing great, Jan. Just not. Mm-hmm. I played. Uh, not where they're supposed to be. Here, I got you. I'll cover you. I played Fortnite last night with Ian and Dan. And we did uh, for the first time in like a year. Mm-hmm. Ian was amazing. Dan was good. I was horrible. I only got a good, not an amazing. 
I got. I, I mean, Ian was pills, kind bro. of amazing, if I'm being honest. Really, he was carrying us. Yeah, yeah he was. He was carrying. I kind of take issue with that, but dude, why won't it show me the fucking super chats, bro? Aqueducts. They actually, when it was too uh -huh. deep, they built one aqueduct and they will build another set of it on top. Uh -huh. Isn't that sick? It is super sick. Yeah. Yeah, they stacked them up. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick. When do you think uh, the Roman Empire fell? I don't know. Couple, couple years ago. Yeah. Couple years ago. Yeah. It never fell. It never <laughs> fell. Last Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, if you saw the new Indiana Jones movie, <laughs> I didn't. There is a a timepiece that goes back in time. Is it a Rolex? No. It's oh. Archimedes. Uh, Archimedes Rolex. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the gold president. <laughs> I think my, you know what? My plug-in broke. It's not recording the super chats anymore. That's a problem. Shit. Unplug it and plug it back in. Fuck, dude. Yeah, it's over. Take us out. Yahoo! See you tomorrow. Short up today. Let's go. <laughs> my ex-best friend is my Roman Empire sad face. Aww. I don't know if I follow. They fell. Uh. Miz Mizamo BB. What is DZD? What is that currency? DZ nuts. Oh, I no. know. Algerian yeah. dinar. Okay. Shout, Shout out, out Algeria. Shout out. Al Algerian watcher? That's pretty cool. Shout out. Can we get a Roman Empire tea PowerPoint, Olivia? Maybe like Olivia? Yeah. There's but, plenty of it. Yeah, I think that interpersonal relationships on that will go crazy. I want that Julius Caesar tea. Caecilius. Julius a, and Brutus. There was there was a lot of tea in Julius and uh Marcus, oh yeah, that Marcus was yeah. oh man, too much. I've got really a lot much. to say. I think you're gonna have to break it up. Let's like let's start with like uh, the conquest of the Gauls. Okay, okay. So let's start with it, that. Keep mm. it in the sea. Because so we don't have to go too far back, but like we get the preamble to the lead up of the uh, right. overthrow the of the Empire. Republic. Yeah, right. Because he was never an emperor, right? He was assassinated before. Julius Caesar. Yeah. yeah. Chat says Caesar and Brutus were the original frenemies. <laughs> so true. Mm -hmm. um, Caesar made himself dictator of his territories during his rule. Man made uh, a great salad, but he was just like the general that said, I'm in charge now. Look at me. I'm the captain now. I got um, distracted here by this super chat. Uh, Olivia, thoughts on Sophie Turner and Taylor Swift spotted together? Queens. Queens. Literally two queens. queens? Yeah, two queens walking queen together of the North. supporting each other. Queen of the North and Taylor Swift's Queen of the South. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bad bitch of the West, bad bitch of the, <laughs> bad bitch of the South. Sam, did you share your opinion? I did. Good. She was pro. Uh, I know. Yeah. I intercepted her in the back. Oh, okay. I said you got to go tell the people. Right. We love the Roman Empire. We love the Rome. We love love. Yeah, we do. You know. Um. All right. Let's get started. Here. <clears throat> I got my Ricola's. Sheesh. I'm Ricola's trying not to smack into the mic. Is that that OG again? Yeah. OG that OG Kush? Yeah, yeah. Let me hit that. Let me hit one of those. Let me hit that. Shit. Oh, oh, you got it? No, almost. Sorry. That was my bad. I got it. I got it, Dan. AB's got it. AB's got it. Okay, we're going to uh, go just a little short today. Let's go again. Yeah. Slightly short. There it is. I got it. There it is. I'm sick. That was a slick throw and catch, and we missed there that I one, Ian. Just saying. Anyone else? Zach, you want one in the back? I'm cool, brother. Thank you. Come on, I want to just, just let me out. Yeah, just you, let, I just here, Sam, I see you in the Ooh. back. Yeah, I got Woo! It. Long bomb. Oh! Yo! Let's Great. fucking go right now. Let's go! Let's go! Make, go! You can get me. Oh! Cam, nice I'll get catch. you. Go for it. Nice catch, Olive. Wait, Thanks, this is going to be really Zeno. sick. Hold on. Long bomb. Long bomb. No way. He's got it. He's got it. Shit. Oh, that was close. Uh, yeah. Pretty close. Hit my Dude, this is making me so excited. Round two. Hit the glass. Round two. Round two. Ready? Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Long bomb. Oh, oh that'd be close. Spot, but... close enough. Yeah, close that's enough. good enough. No, thanks. I'm sick. I can't exert myself. Yeah, it's the sick. It's yeah, the day cool. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I have a good arm. Yeah. We proved that once. Yeah, with the pizza one. We proved it mathematically. You know, with the baseball, remember? I oh. remember. It was. You're throwing yeah. some heaters. You're right. You're right. All right, let's go to Whoop. Swoop. There Whoop. it is. So I'll say at the top, this is all based on. Or I guess you you took a new angle to this, Olivia. But yeah, so um, I want to say at the top. Yeah. Go to Swoop's channel. One hundred. Watch her 
full interview with him. A lot of this is based off that interview. So if you if you're if you want to get it all, her whole video is good. So go support Swoop. There it is. There it yes. is. Yes. So um. Put it in the description. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. So. Swoop had Joshua Evans, who is Colleen Ballinger's ex-husband. We've talked a little bit about him. She had him on uh, her documentary series, and he told his story about Colleen, which he has not told so far in his life on YouTube. And um, he really let a lot fly in terms, especially he filled in a lot of the blanks for like me as a viewer at the time. He answered every yeah, question that I was like, what the fuck was going on at that time he gave oh. it to me so i obviously don't want to sit here and regurgitate all of the work that swoop did so if you want the extent of everything i really encourage you to go watch that i'm focusing mainly on like the the questions that freaked me like the answers that freaked me out because i've been i've literally been wondering so, about it so forever. what is your thesis today this is i'm taking you through the revelations that are in swoop stock with josh and i kind of take you through the timeline of their relationship so i'm gonna do compare comparisons of like josh's recounting of a situation versus the actual vlog that like i remember with clips with clips love that love that beautiful yay beautiful so fantastic an explosive Gorgeous. swoop exclusive the josh lean to eric lean timeline so let's ground ourselves let's go back go back wow. Let's ground ourselves Let's ground really quick first. in this story. Let's make sure we know who people are. Colleen Ballinger and Miranda Sings. We remember her. Yes. Eric Stockland. That is Colleen's new husband. Joshua Hockey. Evans. Yes. Oh, uh, Eric Stockland. We'll talk about it. He was an actor on her show. Joshua Evans, her ex-husband. Adam McIntyre, YouTube, fellow YouTuber. We have talked a lot about him. Swoop, fellow YouTuber, incredible documentarian. Johnny, we've talked about him. He uh, alleged that Joshua was grooming him and Swoop uh, debunked, that, debunked shit. that shit. She swooped in and saved the day. Yeah. So, Josh Lean lasted from 2009 to 2016. Um, people were, obs I was obsessed with them, if I'm being honest. Like, they just were the most wholesome, I feel like. I think it was Jenna and Julian and, like, Colleen and Josh were It the was YouTube their on-camera persona. Yeah. Just looks so wholesome and yeah. like a nice relationship. Like if you there, I linked their wedding vid. Um, he literally like vlogged down the aisle. Like they were, they recorded Vlog Vlogged down the aisle? He did vlog down the aisle. That's vlogitis. That's a disease. Bro, it was yeah, crazy. It was crazy. Vlog down the aisle? Vlog down the Imagine aisle. Imagine your family sitting there like, the fuck is this? Bro. Yeah. If you vlog your wedding, it's not going to work out. Adam said in one of his videos that um, yeah. Colleen really didn't want him to, but he did it anyway. Oh, that was his choice. Yes. Brave, of him, brave of him to admit that. Yes. No, no, no. Adam said that. Oh, Adam said that. Yes. Okay, so then. But um, if you're interested in watching it, you can. We have a lot coming up, though. I am, of course. Beautiful. Facebook. Yeah. They deleted their original one. I love wedding videos, they're so corny. So this is their proposal. It started with an edit. This is 18 that. minutes? Well, you don't have to watch all of it. You can just click through it. You can watch him walking down the aisle is what I expected. So they're on stage. Did, well, did this, this is when he proposed. He was, he took her to a theater. All of his like coworkers were also there, but she didn't know. He took her up onto the stage. I can't believe I remember this so well. But um, yeah, he took her up on the stage and proposed. Apparently at the beginning of that year, she gave him an ultimatum and was like, if you don't propose, I'm leaving. Which I, which I thought was really interesting because it didn't seem like as soon as they got married, it seemed like she didn't want anything to do with him. Right. And that she forced him to... to yeah, to her propose. career made a huge jump, like right after they got married. So I wonder, I think that just like things were changing for her and she was she like, oh Hollywood. damn, I like the way this life is going. Mm. It was 18 minutes, bro. Yeah, just watch him walk down the I'm aisle. I'm gonna skip around. The grocery store is only. Yeah, I wanna see the vlog blocks. down the aisle. The video of me crying was when I was watching this. So, wait, I go back when he comes down, right? Yeah. The greatest, see? Oh, brother, brother. <laughs> Put that thing away, <laughs> man. <laughs> no. No ceremony. What the? Is gonna create that could not be less authentic. <sighs> you can't do that. That's crazy. You know what? It's good that this didn't work out because you don't wanna have to show your kids or people yeah. in the future your wedding video and you're walking down with a camera yeah. so crazy. that's that 
on that. Um, well, I want to watch this. Oh, wait, just in case, Through because of the music, I don't want to play it for too long. I forgot to check. Those kids are slaying so hard. Love that. Oh, so cute. cute. Jenna and Julian are sitting in the audience. See, there's Julian on the right. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he looks so different. He had his ponytail. He, he went so alt. <laughs> He's like an alt boy. All right. All right. So I was just, that's Josh Lean. There's also Eric Lean. We don't know really when they got together. It's very unclear. Oh, we'll three we'll take you through it. However, they announced that they were dating super close, like weeks before they announced that she was pregnant and that they were engaged. And um, if you want, I, I included their dating announcement. It was like embedded in this Wait, weird video where she this. acted out fanfic and it was not called with my boyfriend first. It was acting out fanfic with Eric first. And then in this video, they announced that they're dating when like- Did anybody even know that she broke up with Josh at this point? Oh, this is year, th this is, I'm just taking, we'll, we'll go through it. Yeah, they've been divorced at this time. Okay. She announced that she was, um, the next slide has the full timeline written out, if you want to pull that up. Um, so they announced that they were getting divorced September 2016, and they announced that Colleen uh, was pregnant June 2018. So there's gap in time, and I'm going to take you through all of the times she was called. Next slide. I'm going to take you down. Yeah. Yeah. So something that Josh talked about that I thought was really interesting was we even had a conversation about the eyes mm. and he says that he knew those eyes and the world had never seen it but this is the most like authentic version he thinks the world has seen of her which is crazy he uh, in that moment he's like i don't say anything bad about her but her eyes she's a demon from hell bro they look scary as fuck i thought that she was pretty busted funny. as fuck <laughs> He's like, I don't want to say anything bad about her, but she is a demon from she, hell. <laughs> the way she is being yeah. characterized now, do you think that that's accurate? I feel bad answering this question. Yeah. Because I don't want it to come off like I'm on here to, like, bash her and drag her. She's got enough of that happening. Without me needing that being to said, she's if I'm a with myself And honest with you and anyone watching this, it, I think this is the, the truest depiction of her that has ever been seen mm -hmm. publicly. This is the most authentic version of her that has ever been publicized. Because when, when I heard him say that, I was like, oh, he's out for blood. Well, yeah. it's just, you can see it's so obvious, like, how hurt he still is from the whole experience. Listen, not taken away from his pain. She, she's it. Oh, she fucked What she up. did, it was yeah. just vile. But he's really, I was like, oh, damn, brother, <laughs> he, you're out he here. He did, he kept saying he would hesitate, especially toward the beginning. He was just like, I don't want, and Swoop had to say to him, this is your story. What I'm you seeing. You can tell your story. Mm-hmm. Like, especially in that but video, yeah, we're off blood a little bit. the ukulele video, that's a version of her that I know. I know that person. I lived with that person. Is that her music or ours? I saw those eyes. Mm -hmm. She's saying to yeah. me. Did she pipe in the creepy music? She did. Oh, shit. It's wonderful Everyone editing. has the ability to change, look inward, do the hard, hard work. I just don't think she is. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, so that's that on that. Um, I'm hitting specific key moments before we get to the timeline just because i want to make sure that i include all of the stuff very he, good he uh took accountability for the hand job vlog that Sweet. one was pretty wild asked him about that so did he um, say that it was happening the, the honeymoon watch. vlog yes. the two of you are very much insinuating that she has her hand down your pants mm -hmm. while you're vlogging mm -hmm. and that is something that you filmed and then edited and, then and then the uploaded thumbnail chose the thumbnail did all of that absolutely uh there's also the miranda sings kissing tutorial what were you thinking in that moment when you're filming this mm -hmm. and laughing about it and then editing it and then uploading it and then leaving it up there and then enjoying the comments and sure. the the ad revenue and all those types of things i remember that moment that it that she started to do that and i was vlogging i could have stopped and i could have been like all right i'm not filming this but in my mind, I thought, this is just our dynamic. 
were being silly. I really thought to myself, well, I'm trying to get, I'm, I want an audience that are not kids. And uh, okay, so they did it. They did that shit. I don't know if y'all remember, but it was pretty weird. There's a video of him vlogging, and then she just starts, like, jerking him off. Yeah, he, uh... And it's for kids. Like, oh, my God, your hand is in my pants. And she's like, hee, 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 hee. And then they just giggle, giggle, and then the vlog is pretty, over. For you. Fucking weird. Pretty inappropriate. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, he also talks about... I <laughs> noticed this when he started talking about it. Um, she did used to, like, roughhouse with him a bunch. Right. And I'm very... It, it's definitely interesting. She included a clip. She closed off. I don't trust people. I never used to be that guy. I was always the, almost like the golden retriever in the room. It's always like, <laughs> so everything's good. Cool. I know that you beat me yesterday, but I'm going to come love on me today. Not saying that she beat on me. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were times that she definitely smacked me around, but not, not like we were fighting and she smacked me. I'm not saying that. Well, I'm going to, I mean, shifted I mean you one. know, I'm going to ask, was yeah. she physically? We would never get into an altercation where she would smack me or anything like that. But playfully, <coughs> mm -hmm. she would roughhouse with me. It was more consistent than I, I wanted to believe. So you think there was some... It was a lot of like... I rem he explains See, like, like now in my relationship know, like that's not something and, like, we do and yeah. I did it just like sparked something for me where I was like damn they did used to like play fight a bunch like she they used to like smack and stuff. Do you think she was taking out his, her aggression on him? No, I just think like it's that? it's really it was a very immature way to okay to act. Yeah, just super like juvenile. He talks about living with Corey. This guy's fucking weird, brother. He oh. lives with what him. was life like with Corey DeSoto? It was hard because her, I... Her best friend lives in the house with yes. them. With her and her kids and her husband. And, That's, her and he still lives the with time. them now? With yeah. her, dude, what the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, he moved out for a second. And then he came back. Yeah. A second's not good enough. Right. Dude, what? Damn. Never felt like I had a marriage or a relationship. I felt like I was a part of something plus him and and I was there too. Everywhere I look, there he is. I wake up in the morning, there he is. I go to bed at night. He's going into his room. She had made a post on Instagram and she said that, you know, this is my soulmate. And I remember looking at that and being like, well, I would never say that about anybody other than my person. Do you think that was directed at you in any way? I, or I think she niche. I don't think you can. You, you know what you're saying if you yeah. say that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So Corey is. He says like soulmate. I went to bed. Corey was there. I woke up. Corey was there. You know what that means to me? Corey's her soulmate. It means that we can talk about like the sadist shit that yeah. we like to do. Well, Swoop We're calls him each other. Uh, Colleen's bathroom cleaner. Oh, bathroom cleaner. That's, that's, uh, that's life partner shit. Right. Soulmate yeah. shit. Okay. Okay, before we get to the timeline, which is next, this is he, also another moment where he takes accountability for speaking in those group chats. And, and, and I'm, chat. I'm curious because, you know, we're, we're talking kind of, there, there's these parallels, right? You know, you're participating in the content, but you were also participating just on a, no cameras around life happening and you were in these tiny chats and mm. uh, the group chats, you know, running around town. Um, I'm not sure if you saw, but Adam just did a live stream today uh, of a video that uh, was sent to him and it's on a fan's channel. Uh, they had done a vlog video with you and Colleen and it, and it looks to be in Europe and they you and Colleen are hanging out with these two in a hotel room for quite a period of time and you're at a restaurant together but you were alone in a hotel room with them and then mm -hmm. they looked like they were maybe backstage or they were attending a show that uh, uh, happened in that same trip and you know in certain degrees I hear what you're saying when you're talking about okay things kind of spiraled they escalated with the content and but the content has a stop and a start you know start and a stop button when you're recording and you go through the edit process you put it out there so that's one area that's problematic, mm -hmm. you know, at best. Mm -hmm. But then when we look at, you're actually physically 
living life taking the photos and the video that we saw, you know, you're sitting on a couch kind of squeezed up next to who quite literally says, uh, this is uncomfortable, or this is awkward. You can hopefully understand why there's so much confusion mm -hmm. and hurt and anger and question about not just how... Is it... We're... Sorry? So he's... Is he going to take... Yeah, once he, once he s speaks, then we can... Oh. Let's just say he takes accountability. He does, yes. Yeah, he does, he does. And we love that, right? Yes, we do. We do and I that. really encourage you to watch the full video. Oh, look at this hunky motherfucker. All right, enter Eric. Eric stage stage left. left. She, he he said stunned. some interesting things, because I, I listened to most of it. Mm. But he's like, I knew something was up when she casted this guy to play yeah. like a dorky loser character. She's I have like, that. So, um... Yeah. This is Eric Stocklin. Before Haters Back Off, he had little roles on TV shows, not really like major parts. Um, after he cast it, uh, after Colleen casted Eric, um, Josh said that he was confused because Eric's character, Patrick, was supposed to be the male version of Miranda Sings. So like they were bringing in people who were not conventionally attractive, people who were like supposed to be gross. And she was just pushing and pushing for this actor, Eric, who like doesn't have a, but like Angela Kinsey from The Office was in the show. So like there were people with credits on this production, mm -hmm. but she really liked this guy. Yeah. And he said it didn't make much sense to him why I cast him. Right. Um, I have the link to that if you want to watch that. Yeah, I'll watch it real fast. Uh, I saw Eric which is her husband now. Mm -hmm. Those eyes. Uh, right after I got off that phone call with you, and I, I told him, oh, well, I just got yelled at by, by my husband for 15 minutes. Was that something that you, you felt was happening often, that she would go to him and share details of your relationship? I don't know if she thought I was blind, but I saw it from the beginning when she cast him. I remember all the other people that went through the cycle of that audition circuit. That character was supposed to be not conventionally like a good looking guy. Mm -hmm. And when she started, you know, wanting him, I thought he's kind of he's kind of a good looking dude. You want him to play this character that's supposed to be like the the yeah. male Miranda? And I thought I can't say I, I can't say anything. She's going to think I'm jealous. She's going to think I'm Con Nothing worse in a relationship when they're like, you don't worry about this person, and then they end up cheating on, on you right. with them. Those are the best parts of relationships. So, Those, yeah. Josh then talks about, in the first few weeks of their relationship, first few months, he actually said that there was a tiff of possible cheating that happened, mm. where he found messages. So this is way this is long right, ago. This is 2009. I was always... Interesting. Is uncomfortable with Eric and her relationship. Anytime I had an inkling, do you have a thing for that person? It only happened like three or four times. But every single time I had an inkling, it happened. Sorry, when you say it happened, are you are you saying that she had cheated multiple times, like with different people, or in the first three months of us dating, I had this weird feeling in my gut that we were exclusive. We were saying, I love you. It was this whirlwind romance. I had this feeling in my gut that something wasn't right. I didn't know what it was. And I did a foul thing. She walked out, she was doing something. She left the apartment and I pulled up the laptop that she was on and I read some Facebook private messages that she had been sending. And I saw it, this part it, and I'm throwing my well, heart. She, I mean, ultimately you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't go through your partners. Agree. Stuff. Um, however, it did happen with this same guy again a few weeks later. Or really? A few months later. Yeah. So. That sucks, though. I mean, I've never suspected I was being cheated on like that. I guess if I really was paranoid, I might do that. I've never done that. You've done that? No. That's a crazy thing to oh, do. Oh, but if you suspect that, like, your partner's cheating on you, I guess maybe. I don't know. I, I honestly. It's never a good idea. I've never had the, the urge to check a phone just because I. I don't think I could get away with it. Also, not cool. But it's also, just, I don't think I could get away with it. It's not a good idea for anybody ever. Agreed. What were you saying? Should I keep playing or you had something to say? What's happening? Me? Oh, I'm good. What are... 
I'm talking to you. Oh, no, I'm should I keep Should I play or should I go to the next slide? No, you can go to the next slide. I told the story. Okay. So that summer, before she went for Eric, Adam told this story, she went for this guy who was the director of Haters Back Off. Wait, and apparently she, she wanted him. And she was posting Snapchat stories and Instagram stories that Josh references in the swoop video that he was obviously very uncomfortable with. And so she was she, like, she was trying to hook up with the director first. Yeah. Hmm. And there were Snapchats that she would post. Them. I remember watching the Snapchats of her like running down a hallway, chasing him and like giggling. And I was like, who the, f who is this guy? And I remember being confused about it. And it's just so interesting that Josh is bringing it up. Hmm. Things knowing that I had verbally said that makes me uncomfortable. Hey, I saw on your Insta story, like you're really flirting really heavy with your director <laughs> for your Netflix show. Like it's there for everyone to see. It's yeah. And if your partner has the courage to confide that in you, then you definitely need to take that seriously too. If it makes it, you know, because it, if it's unreasonable, that's one thing, but it seems like there was some cause for, yeah. And like security this, here. this, uh, where is it? Latent flirtation. The, the link and then that to would, that the video of the director, um, that was, reposted cross posted on the haters back off which is the actual like instagram for their tv show so like a I video of into... her like giggling and like c going up close at her Why? director i don't know huh. me being controlling when i'm just sitting here going you're flirt you you're not just like having fun you are flirting and chasing this man down it's like me the comments are saying that you're flirting she knew the things that didn't make me feel great and she would do them anyway. She's her okay, own person. She's, she's flirting with the director. Should I watch this one? Call yeah. Me... Let me hear what Following she Following him around, like flirting with him and stuff. This is she when he tells the story. She wanted that. I mean, he was, you know, he was hot. So, I mean, credit where credit is due. Oh, wait, someone sent me something. <gasps> Here it is. Oh, I want to see this. Yeah. yeah. Here it is. Oh, I'm Jesus, excited. I, get to I just see. tell stories and the priff finds me. <laughs> she wanted that. Before she wanted Eric, she wanted this. Do it again. Okay, let me just try and get into the character. Okay. Oh my god. Because he didn't. Oh well. <laughs> He's pretending to do Miranda. <laughs> she wanted that. Do it again. Okay, she wanted that. Into the character. Okay. Oh my god, Bree remembers it. <laughs> Bree was in the weenies. She wanted That's that it. Andrea And then scene. that night, it, the Snapchats, mm -hmm. I mean, Snapchat goes away after 24 hours and I couldn't find a re-up. But she was chasing him down a hall and then like going at, le at the end, like she c catches up to him and they're like giggling. And it was like, just what the, f what are you doing? And the fact that her husband did show like discomfort in it beforehand, like it's just why, why, why are you, why do it? Okay. Why participate in something that clearly makes your husband uncomfortable? She seems to hate him, based on what yeah. I like. But it, she seems to just not like him. She yeah, wants and there are there are clearly like times where people are just paranoid, and it's like you're being you're not trusting your partner right now. This was like she was clearly on the prowl to find someone. It seems like that's I don't get it. Just break up with your I don't know. Let's keep going because it gets worse. VidCon story. Josh is recounting. Yeah. Let's take and then we'll watch Colleen's. Yes. There was a there was a time right before the divorce happened, and it was um, VidCon, and she didn't stay at VidCon very long. She, at that point, kind of thought, "I'm I'm bigger and better than this." Well, I loved it, but she left and went back to our our house that we had. Someone communicated and relayed to me, hey, while you're out at VidCon, she's having a few people over to the house. And I was like, who? And they said, Eric, Corey and a romantic interest, and Rachel and her boyfriend at the time. And I just thought it was weird. And so I was supposed to spend the night that night near VidCon because it was a long drive. Mm -hmm. Something in my gut said, no go back home. So I finished the show, I didn't tell her, and I got in the car, and I drove back. 
she kept messaging me like, are, are you in your hotel room? Where are you? Where are you? And within the like last probably 15 minutes or so of the drive, I came clean and I said, I'm actually almost home. This was so disappointing. Why did he do that? I know. I, don't, I, I wanted to ask him because like. I'm curious too. He blew, if this story is true, the way he told it, sounds like he was going to catch her in the act. But he. Right. He blew it 15 minutes well, imagine, before he got there. I mean, I'm sure he was anticipating how, much, how painful that would be. But I would want to know. I mean, I he'd been driving that whole time. Yeah. I don't know. And also, it's so easy to be like, hey, surprise, sweetheart. Like, it doesn't even hey, look surprise, bad. surprise, sweetheart. You're like, hey, yeah. I just wanted to come home and be with you. It's like. Yeah. But he knew what not he was going to find. For him. It feels like. Yeah. Mm. And when I walked through those doors, it reeked of alcohol and cigarettes. And no one was there. Nobody was there. And then I went upstairs. And she was sitting on our bed, playing her ukulele. I could tell she was, <laughs> she, she, she had some drinks in her, no big deal. Have a drink, Frozen it's her house. Mm -hmm. She smelled of smoke. And I was like, what's going on? Where is everybody? Oh, they had to go, they had to leave. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, just the red flags were popping off in my head. Like, why, why Bro, would you- why did you tell her? Why? Okay, so that's that, right? Now let me see what Colleen says about that day. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I found a Christopher. I'm here. And a Jessica. She's here. And a Corey. Nice. We Daddy. have a Rachel. And look who I found. Look who I found. Eric Stockland. Eric Stockland. Wow. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that didn't make me. So to Eric for having an affair with a married woman, too. Right. He apparently at this time had a girlfriend. Oh, so double whammy. She tell she told Josh uh, after he said, "Have fun fucking Eric," and or I hope you think about me when you're fucking Eric in our bed. Apparently, she was like, "It's not like that. He has a girlfriend." Is what right. her response was to that. Song. Eric is playing Miranda's best friend. And then they got married and had a baby. Um, hit Three. back off, and he is one of the coolest dudes in the world. So that's uh -huh. exciting, and we're gonna go take pictures with myself. I see lust in those eyes. I'm sorry. My, the one of the coolest dudes in the world. I don't want my girl talking about any dude like that. Yeah. Maybe I'm secure. I don't know. Yeah. He's I'm the coolest. coolest. He's like a hot dude that she's spending all this time. He's the coolest dude in the world. Fuck that. And at this point, he's voiced. I'm the voiced. coolest dude in the world. Yeah, fuck that. Um, at this point, he's literally voiced that he feels uncomfortable with her flirting with people. Mm -hmm. Right. Because oh, that's a normal thing. She just didn't that's care, it. it seems like. That's it. Well, it, it's just the day goes by and she spends it with Eric and Josh is nowhere to be found. That was the content cops on. Yeah, and it's just she she You're left right. it all out. Okay. That is pretty, I agree. I mean, that's pretty sussy. If you want to see, they're like, like in that, a car it's together. all about that. Fine, to each his own. However, he vlogged in Christopher's vlog and he wouldn't vlog in mine. And now he's like refusing. He won't even like let me show him. So, I'm, so cute my together. Follow me. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't like it. It's Hell just, no. yeah. Not very nice. If I saw my significant other doing all this, no. It would make me feel very bad. Especially after a conversation. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, can we guess who else in the story is involved? Why don't we look at this and let's guess. I know who's involved. You know who it is? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't. What about you? Who do you think? You want to play? Um, who's the best person that could be involved who, in yeah. this? I don't Fun recognize for Louis. most of these people. Even, don't even look at these. Who's people? the best person? Yeah. <laughs> um, who's the best person to be involved? The funniest idea. Uh, PewDiePie. Famous no. YouTubers. Give me someone else. Better, funnier. PewDiePie, yeah. I think, is the only one I remember. Better, funnier. I can't believe that they have a leg in this story. Who am I missing? Oh, Glozell. No, but that would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. I don't see Shane up here. Oh, oh, he that's is. Shane. Oh, yeah. the answer Shane, Shane, isn't it? He's in the middle, him. top middle. Uh, oh, this is. Oh, I red. didn't even recognize like him. A demon photo. Hi, Shane. Yeah. What? I, okay. Yeah, that Shane's is Shane. At the center of this. Right. Isn't that great? He's at the heart. It all comes back to Shane, doesn't it? Girl, Shane Dawson. Girl, there he is. You did not. There he you is. You did not. So Josh reveals in his swoop video that Shane Dawson, in a sense. Crashed their honeymoon. Wait, Sick. I didn't see that part. The hell? 
I was shown some things when I was at Playlist. He was shown text DC from that took place during their honeymoon. Receipts, proof of things that she was doing. Can you tell me? No, what he didn't go to their honeymoon. He was. She was just texting him. Right. You said Shane crashed. Dawson, I said, in a sense, he crashed their honeymoon. Hypothetically, okay. beautifully, poetically. Okay. To part of me still wants. Part of me still wants to protect her. Because what she was doing was awful. At the very least, can you tell me what it has to do with? This specific one was what she was saying about me behind the scenes on our honeymoon to another massive YouTuber. She basically said, I told Josh some things and he wrecked our hotel room. She told this to another large, very creator. large YouTuber. Yes. Okay. Are you, can I ask who that was? Why not? That's Shane Dawson. Okay. We went on our honeymoon and we decided while we were in Hawaii, let's go to the beach. Can I play devil's advocate a little bit? Sure. When I was watching this, I was like, well, what if maybe I she you. was telling the truth? I agree with you. I think that Swoop even says like, <coughs> I would like to say Colleen did not respond for comment. Like we don't have her side of the story, but it is really, in, I mean, compared to the data that we have shows that she would do something like that. Lie, just blatantly lie. Yeah, I mean, think about all the other lies. Well, so this part in particular, I struck me as odd. They're having their honeymoon. They right. just got married. It's like the best time ever. And then supposedly, she's texting Shane Dawson mm -hmm. during their honeymoon, which he says was perfect. Right. That he's yelling at her, trashing the room, being a maniac. And this was the day that Colleen actually like would talk about how special this day was because they went to the beach without any cameras and they reset their vows to each other. And so she would talk about how beautiful this day was when they did that and like in future but vlogs. But she would do she would that anyway. It. She has vlogitis. Right, she does have vlogitis. So who's to say? However, Josh is the only voice we have right now and he says that nothing happened and apparently she told Shane Dawson that he was like abusive at the time. And then I also have the vlog, the night in question. I have her vlog. Or that I happened a few times during this interview where I was like, what if, yeah, what if what she said is what happened? Yeah, I'm, I would really like to know the truth. Well, if she were to talk about it, she probably would say that, right? I mean, what else is she going to say? So. It's just like all of the blatant lying that exists in the story already makes it just, it just made my brain, it made it so easy to be like, yep. Another horrible thing she did. Sometimes I, I got like a feeling though. Yeah. Yeah. About about Josh. I just felt some type of way sometimes. Really? Was it worth all the lie? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Remember <laughs> the era where we used to burn the witch? Was with it no worth cameras. all the lie? And let's say new vows that are just for us. I mean, the no texts are them, certainly confirmed. Like we've seen them. We just don't know if... Why did she make that up? She, she didn't like lie about shit like this point blank lie. Bro, she, did she? she she lied about a bunch of stuff. Like she just made it up. Told Trisha like, nope, they sent it to me. They were your fans. They sent me your nudes. Right. Like, she's, she's that's her like covering up. I guess that's a cover. Means. Yeah, but here she's lying, just making something up that didn't happen. Just out of the blue. She's like, hey I, Shane, I'm on my honeymoon and it's perfect, and my my now husband is a is a monster. For no reason. It's just a little weird. I don't know. I'm not saying, listen. No, I know. This is, the, it's, it's important to, uh, to ask questions. But, you know, obviously, uh, Colleen is the perfect villain. And so it's easy to just right. think of her I as believe. like the worst in every situation, which she is, you know, right. she is that. The next part is pretty, if, if you don't want to watch the vlog, the next slide is pretty crazy. The night in question. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. So it's our last night in Maui, and Colleen and I, when we left to go on our honeymoon, um, we just had an idea of at some point we wanted to stand in front of each other without cameras and without a lot of people and re-say our vows. Our vows? Vows? I said vows. You said vows. <laughs> so to re-say our vows. So we're gonna go and have some moments and do that stuff. 
<laughs> this is so forced. I feel so like ugh, icky watching this shit. <laughs> Y'all don't have to be doing this, man. Come on. See. It was, mm -hmm. What do we? It, there's there was some what some friction. See? I saw a little Moments. bit of tension and that I didn't that when I watched it for the first time. I watched their honeymoon vlogs <laughs> when they were coming out, as they came out, and I thought that they were so, so happy. And now when I'm rewatching, I'm like, they do seem a little bit tense. See? So I don't know. I mean, obviously we're, we're, we're looking probably a little too close yeah. to here. But it is interesting. Val? I said Val. You said Val. So to re-say our vows. So we're gonna go and have some moments and do that stuff. Oop. <laughs> there used to be a bunch of compilations of her yawning when he was talking. He looks genuinely like damn, like that was because he he was doing the same thing when she wrote him the song yeah. about blue eyed Joshua or whatever. He had the same kind of expression. Whenever she would yawn, because like she would do it so much. Sometimes it was on purpose. She would like yawn while he was vlogging. And he, at a certain point, like after months and months, he would just like look so sad when she would do it. What's this? And what is this? And what is this? <laughs> so Josh explains in his swoop video that Colleen was like, I'm putting out my divorce video now and you have to do it now. And he's like, can we wait a second? And she's like, no, I'm doing it now. Oops. So, uh if we want to pull up him telling the story versus the two videos Which that one came should I out. pull up first? There's three Josh videos. Josh is recounting. Okay. Making that divorce video was traumatizing. She had just told me, I'm making a video to announce this and I'm releasing it in a few days. And I said, can we wait? Because you just threw this big thing on me. I didn't see it coming. I don't want to make a video about this. Can we like just not say anything and like work on how we're going to discuss this? And she said that would interfere with her launch for her show. And she did not want anything to take momentum away from her Netflix show. And that That's she crazy. was making a video, whether I liked it or not. And Which that it was going to go out on this specific really day. And she started saying, Nine. I feel like that's counterintuitive. She definitely wanted traffic in terms of gossip so that there was more eyes on her show, no? I, I feel like the divorce, ways. yeah, the divorce I don't announcement think she, caused a lot of- Yeah, nobody cares, if you, everybody, people get divorced all the time. And people were talking about her more. So I feel like maybe she was like, I'm gonna get my divorce. She wanted to boost the ratings? Maybe, it was two weeks before. Yeah, you wanna probably talk about that a little bit beforehand, that's pretty wild. Certainly bad timing. I don't think that she planned it out, but I wonder if she thought about it. Probably. Yeah. I mean, that's why she, well, she definitely did if she gave him a hard day. Yeah. Things that she wanted me to say. So did you feel it? You felt then like your, your hand was kind of forced in that? I was backed into a corner. It, she knew that she had the power. She knew that she had the masks behind her and she knew that she could say. Well, I want to just watch his video about the, the divorce. Well, okay, so. Something about their divorce videos is Colleen in hers. I remember she said like, Josh didn't cheat on me. He didn't do anything horrible to me. Please don't oh, send hate his, like she said that. Slick. And Josh later talks about how he was confused how the her. idea that he cheated on her became a rumor. Slick. And I, I mean, maybe the weenies were like spreading that, who knows. But I think it also definitely came back to the fact that she planted that in her video. She was like, he didn't cheat on me. He didn't do anything. And well, then like, yes. Josh also includes that in his. Like he says like, I didn't cheat on her. D she didn't me. Like he kind of offhand does that. But if you want to watch it, yeah, it's, it's an interesting watch. Let's, so let's see him. Do I need to watch this first part? No, I okay. just explained it. So let's watch the two uh, side by side. Last thing I said to her. That's to her like, if you have not Ooh. said Wait, anything Wait. to her. She, oh, hold up. Let me grab the. Here, let me watch his first then. Alone. But I want it to be known that I am not choosing this divorce. I don't want this divorce. I want her, but I truly believe something? that she. There was the whole thing about like, 
she sang the song to him about his blue eyes. Mm -hmm. but, Those are but his blue eyes. Right. He made a tweet. I don't have blue eyes. Yeah, his eyes are blue. Right. He, he made that that tweet. He was like, they're kind of green. Oh, you he said if you're gonna write a song about me, at least know what color my eyes are. That's what he said. <laughs> Right, and he posted a photo of his driver's license where it says that his eyes yeah, green, self, I guess. self-reported, yeah. my dude. You don't have green eyes, you have blue eyes. <laughs> you wish you had You know hazels. a fellow blue. Yeah. No, but, you but know it is an interesting point because was he trying to be dis deceptive about that? Right. No, like, I, it was just a joke. He, he was in the comments and was like, I know, I'm just kidding. Like, it was just a joke. He showed the driver's license. I don't know. It felt like a, a real thing he was trying to do. I don't know. Dude, that dude wishes he know. had hazels, bro. <laughs> like me. You have blue eyes, Dan. I have blue don't hazel eyes. Don't kid yourself. Right. They're blue hazel. If you're gonna yell at Josh, let Josh yell at you. <laughs> Alright, let me see what let me see what's going on here. He thinks that she's making the right decision. Joshua also made a point of That's, assuring fans that I can't no find the whole on either uh, side led to the split. The whole I was Rhea. faithful the entire time. It's nothing like that at all in in any way. I would never, ever break that trust with her. So that's not, this is not anything like that. Not, she didn't do it either. At the end of the that, mm. Mm. Why? Mm. video, Joshua broke down while professing his love for his wife and his wishes for her. He said he didn't take half, and I was like, big mistake, bro. Yeah, he, he did. Uh, they never prenup, and she decided not to take any of her. Yeah. I was like, bro, I would have taken half of that shit if I got cheated on. Fuck that. Half now. Mm -hmm. Pay up. I think that's pretty cool that he that didn't he, take. It is cool, but then like Cool of him. She sucks. I though. think I would have taken. I want you should have taken her money. I'd be happy if you took her money. Yeah. Agree. Get paid, dude. If you get cheated on, man, take the money. Right, Dan? I missed what you're talking about. Take, take it the anyways, money. Dude. Just take it, bro. If you get cheated on. You take that half. If you get cheated, like in a divorce, yeah. that's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, get get it. Thank, get it. Thank you, dude. brother. Yeah. Get he that. also talked about in this, I didn't I know, he saved her. himself for marriage. That's weird. I did not know that. Well, that would make the bond even more intense for him. Right. I think. He's, no, Especially they had like, sex before they had marriage. She was no, grabbing his said, dick, dude. He said, no, that was after their honey. That was after oh, the was. honeymoon. That was the, when they got back, the day they got back. So was she... Is but she, I don't know. Maybe they did. I mean, I just know that he saved himself in terms of sex. I don't know the the ins and outs of their relish, but the I didn't know outs? that. I thought that was very interesting. Maybe that's what happened in the hotel room. That's... <laughs> he just lost his mind. He just comes. <laughs> He's just fucking <laughs> blowing ropes, dude. Just Bro. knocking shit Bro. off the fucking wall. Dustin. Picture frames crazy. rocking. World War Josh. <laughs> Go ahead, Phase Banks. <laughs> uh, oh, my feet is all over this room. Yeah, yeah. Um, I linked to you her divorce announcement video. Oh, thank you. In Discord. <laughs> dude, he was a virgin. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Big mistake, bro. He grew up really religious. I, I do wonder, like, if you're really religious and you lose your virginity when you get married, divorce is really looked. If you're religious, yeah. If you're, religious. if you're Mormon, you get like removed from the church. Oh, that sounds really traumatic. Dude, him. the Mormons are wild. Yeah, <laughs> I keep going back to them, man. <laughs> you wanna? Convert? Is he Mormon? No. Too bad. He did look <laughs> a little glazed. <laughs> he had that glaze, huh? Yeah. Half glaze. All right, here she is. So this is gonna be interesting. She's gonna paint herself. She's gonna try to paint herself as the victim without saying it. Right. Because she cheated on him, and he knows that. Yep. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Um, I am dreading making this video. <laughs> the context is pretty funny when she's like, "I'm putting this video out at this day and time." Yeah, I'm dreading. And I will not talk about it with you at all. gonna say it. This video is courtesy of Team You Suck. <laughs> <laughs> and the <laughs> caption. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Shout out to Team You Suck. Gov. <laughs> Are both ends of the magazine? Oh, she is so active. 
Man, okay, so she's going total. Bro this isn't Broadway, girl. This something that I noticed in her Netflix show is that, like many actors, she has a tell. And I think that her tell is that she like moves her eyebrows a lot and like makes her eyes go you up. Think she has a tell? An acting tell, which really? like lets me know. If you keep watching, the way that she like manipulates her eyebrows are very like. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Just pay attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pay attention, Ethan. I am. I'm watching her eyebrows. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Like when she looks up. Like, listen, you could have cut all this. Yeah. This screams fake to me. This too. is fake shit, yeah. dude. <laughs> it's completely fake. There's no reason Fuck to that. include you trying to catch your breath and crying. It's 50 seconds of you just sitting there not saying anything. Yeah, That's Josh's fake. video felt so much more like he was filling the empty space, but it was so empty. Can I say and this? Hers is just not. Do you think it was intentional that Josh filmed his in an empty House with boxes. I think that because I felt beautiful. that was artistic. I think it added some ambiance. I think it gave me what I what I needed. Like that. Did you see I, that? Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back. Share. When she adjusts, there. Mm. I have always shared everything in my life Damn. with you guys, and um. Remind me not to you've play been poker a very against Olivia. Big part of <laughs> my relationship with Josh, and so. I do feel like this is something I need to share with you, obviously. <laughs> you guys deserve to know what's going on. Um, I don't want to get too deep into it because it is very painful. Still. She did it. And mm -hmm. it's very hard for me to talk about. <laughs> It'd be easy to tell looking at this as a fan to be like, what did he do to her? That's what, I mean, in my brain, I was like, damn. She's like, devastated, what did he something do? Something horrible happened is what I assumed. Which is true, and but she it, did it. If you keep watching, she goes, he didn't do anything horrible to me. Oh, shit. Yeah. He did it bad, but not horrible. I want to start off by saying um, Joshua is a wonderful man. And I am so in love with him. This has nothing to do with he's a bad person or he did something horrible to me or anything like that. He's a good person and I love him. Um, it's like she's setting it up for a butt. Right. Slick. Yeah, That's the part I wanted you to see. She's a slick, uh, slick operator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smooth operator. So she's the divorce announcements operator. are out. The world knows. Damn. And he says, Devastating. Yes. Man, he shouldn't have said she didn't cheat on me. Did you do that? He did it in a like very throwaway way. I think the, in the most like non convincing way, he said it. So a few days later, when she says that she's taking a break from the internet, she posts a vlog. <laughs> and I remember being I very happy me. when this vlog came out. I was like, oh my God, it's so great to see her. So this is a few days. Yeah. Which is like her normal upload schedule? Her normal upload schedule is every day. So she took two days off. She took a few days off, like maybe a little less than a week. That's healing. I healed. healed. <laughs> yeah. I'm but good. I, I love how she goes, this is how demented this shit is. You guys are entitled to know what's going on in my most personal life. I felt You guys are entitled. entitled to know, so I like, have to tell you. it's crazy. No, they're not. They're not entitled to know that. Bro. I just want to tell you guys are entitled. So I tried this new medicine to... To, uh, to uh, treat my erectile dysfunction. And uh, it didn't quite work, so I'm going to try this new thing. What's happening, Dan? Nothing's happening with me. Zach is still giggling at playing the Oh, no, Sam, Sam's Dude. crying. <laughs> he kills me with that, man. I'm going with that. <laughs> it's when he plays it faintly, <laughs> like really quick. That's what gets me. I had to add some spice to the video. I can't yeah. even look at Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime we're past, like, I'd say, like, two hours, you could, like, faintly hear those throughout the episode, I feel like. So Zach, yeah, real quick. Zach starts to lose his mind. Yeah, just like that. He's Side a good note, man. I'm still reeling from Ethan just randomly throw in our group chat this morning. He just randomly threw out Z Money as a new name yeah, for dude. Zach. It was a curveball, man. <laughs> And we were all just. You didn't like it? No, I no, no, no. We it, liked it, it, but it just came out of no. We were talking about something. We weren't really like joking around. We were talking about something, and then you were just like, just kind of casually dropped the Z money. Is, for Zach. is that money, the bro. cold meds that 
were speaking for you, or was that just... That was dead homie speaking through me. Dead <laughs> homie. <laughs> Z-Money. Homie's telling stories. I thought it was a typo when you did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was... That's the thing. We pondering. weren't sure if it was intentional or if you were trying oh, it to was say something. Yeah, it was. Well, there you oh, go. Oh, money, bro. Thank, thank you. Sometimes the world... The Z-Money? Bob Dylan once said about songwriting. He, uh -huh. didn't, he didn't write the songs. It was the universe speaking through him. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. In his case, Which absolutely. is why... And he goes, I couldn't write those songs today. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, he sounds like a dying kazoo now, but, you know... <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> Love, I, I, Love him though. Shout out to you, E. So that's just the e universe 40. talking through me. You E forty. That's the universe talking through you. The best okay, line yeah, of slides like is coming. Hmm? The best line of slides is coming. I'm gonna play it because I want to get up and get a drink, but I'm gonna listen. Is that okay? Okay. It's boring, I'm there is candy in my rug. Hey, uh, I am on the internet. Uh, I look rough because I am rough. It has been a rough time in life recently. Everyone is telling me to stay away from the internet and not post videos anymore for a while and just completely stay offline. Um, but it's making me really sad. <laughs> so life is already really sad and really hard and I'm going through just like the hardest stuff I've ever been through in my entire life. And um, being online makes me really happy, and so to take that away from my life and also to be going through really hard things is just <laughs> not a good combination. So I really miss you guys, and I want to be X. back online. I oh my God, like my job, I like making videos, I like talking <laughs> to you guys, so I need to do what I feel is right in my heart, and I really <laughs> want to be on the line. I want to make videos for you guys again. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna shut. Talk about. Do you see that? Shut, shut, shut. Let me ask you something. You guys saw the video I posted last week. The everyone involved. I'm not gonna talk about it. So you don't need to ask about it. Is that anything wrong with you? What's she talking about? What's going on? What's she talking about? So I'm not sure if you could stop making videos because that makes me happy. And I'm gonna film a vlog. That is the juice. Happy to share my life with you. Here's the thing. Okay. 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 I want to bring some happiness. What? Right, so anyway, bit. let's so start back, uh, back from the back. <laughs> 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 I hope but usually, I Lena's here to help me with stuff during the show, but she's not here today. Positive during a time that's really So hard. I, the capitalist pig, was forced to grab my own sodi. You could ask. I, I could have totally grab your sodi. I didn't want to Bud? I didn't want to ask you. Come on. Next time, girl, just ask. Sometimes I feel just silly ask. asking. No, girl. Sometimes you just got to ask. Shame. You're hosting a show here. For reals. Yeah. You've got stuff to do. That's what we're here for. Bro. bro. We're here for you. Listen, bro. Literally. What the fuck? Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Literally. Just ask. Wait, what? Anytime you're a sodi, dude. What? What is going on? Let me go back. Is jellyfish going on? All right, Mr. What? Chair. So this is when she came back. It's boring, I'm there is candy in my rug. Hey. Uh, what? There's candy in my rug? What the fuck is that? She would start her vlogs with like one line of audio that was later in the vlog. I hate this candy. Why? Why you, you got don't that even to know say, what type Ian? of candy? Wait. Ian. What candy? How do you know what candy was in her rug? She didn't even speak on that. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's about to spit a straight cap. Ian, that's the one thing you want to say today? That's your contribution? <laughs> that that's and no it? Rome? That's all you got to say. <laughs> you don't switch. think about Rome. He won't switch to a <laughs> man. Just, <Damn>. that. <laughs> Just keep it on Z Money. Yeah, Z Money's holding it down over there. It's all good. You can't beat you get up Ian, another look man. at Z Money. You got the switching power. Come on, Ian, let me have that one, bro. Come Which on. candy was in a carpet, Ian? You watched this already? You look look ahead. I let's watch this. Watch this. I am on the internet. Uh, I look rough because I am rough. It has been a rough. Time. You look like you always look like. You don't look rough. No, you're beautiful. fine. Yeah, you look fine. <laughs> like let's be honest. Life recently, yeah. Everyone is telling me to stay away from the internet and not post videos anymore for a while and just completely stay offline. But we got bills, girlies. She looks like a woman in love. We got a mortgage. <laughs> Dude, she's fine. She probably got... What's his name? Eric? Eric. Oh, probably oh, got... Oh. Is piped uh, derogatory? No. She got piped by Eric. <laughs> no, you can say piped. 
Dude, she probably got pi- she got piked by Eric, <laughs> dude. Probably just right before filming this. Um, but it's making me re- <laughs> crazy. You're gonna no. in the no, <laughs> so there are slides where she was caught. Those are really gonna come in handy during this. <laughs> Life is already really sad and really hard, and I'm going through just like the hardest nah. stuff I've ever been through in my entire life. Nah, sad and, and hard. Um, being online Belt. makes me really happy, and so to take that away. From- and if only people know. That she cheated. Yeah. How? Well, at the, this made me cry at the time. I was like 14, 13. If only. Imagine mm-hmm. what the reaction would have been if people knew the truth of what yeah. happened. They were pissed at her, dude. Not this pity party bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's like she gets to have her cake and eat it too. It's yeah. not fair. And Josh is off the internet. Moved home. Good for the, him, by the, the way. Worst for actually getting off the internet. <laughs> I agree. What, yeah. <laughs> the worst fate. Right. Being off the internet. <laughs> That's not true. But I think, I, I think it's one of the few times I've actually seen somebody go through something and then they're like, I'm going to step away from the internet. It's yeah, no, hard. that he, that was the right thing to do. I'm not it's impressive that he that. did that. It yeah. really is. Yeah. You know. And I followed his, I followed him on Instagram, like since back in the day. It's been, it's been nice to see where he's ended up for sure. Good for you. I agree. I see you, girl. I see you, girl. All right, we're done with this one. Yeah, we can The pity party. Now, then in the timeline, that's when I met her the next week. Um, we know that story though. Next that was a uh, so when she... haters back off came out. Okay, okay. The final text that Josh sent to Colleen. Last thing I said to her. To that's her like a, you have not so said pause anything really to her in person. The last thing he said to her was, "When you're fucking Eric in our bed, I want you to think about me." And then he tells the last text. Do you think that was the last things he said to her? I do. Because he, he tells it like, I said that shit. <laughs> I did that You think shit. maybe he was, but Colleen. He said that in his head when he was laying in bed angry. Yeah, yeah. This, the, <laughs> the idiot store called, and they're all out of you. His final words Another were, George Costanza reference. Dude, that's like my fourth one today. Well, you did do the you Costanza pose the other day. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're just like, we're channeling the character Wait, a little bit. Forget the Roman Empire, Seinfeld. So how often, how often do you fun. think about Seinfeld? Daily. <laughs> Daily? It has to be. Yeah. For George. Well, I guess like that is like somewhat more contemporary than the Roman Empire. No. I'll, I'll one up you, then I think about it once every three hours. Okay, that's a lot. That's a bit, that's that's a lot, man. You beat me. I'm Seinfeld brain, dude. Because every situation <laughs> pertains back to Seinfeld or Curb. Hmm. I just <laughs> did it just... four times this episode. Yeah. Right. No, like it, it's just the truth. Okay. Well, maybe. If then. you haven't watched Seinfeld, you're doing yourself a disservice. I'll just say that. I really gotta watch it. You haven't watched it, AB? No. I I'd love to, to get. I'd love to know what you guys think I about have to it. Watch it. Do you hate Jewish people? <laughs> <laughs> if you hate Jewish people, you won't. Uh, like only that. I think isn't. Jerry, the only one who's Jewish in the show? No, George is too. No, he's no, he's not. Italian. He's Italian. What? Yeah, George Costanza. Yeah, and Frank and Estelle are Jewish. And I don't, in real life, they're Jewish. Yeah, yeah. I think Both they're all. Them. I don't think it was ever explicitly stated if he was Jewish. They didn't. They were. They did Festivus. They didn't do. Right. No, they're Italian. George Costanza. He's Italian. He's the most. I mean, obviously, his parents, the Stillers, are uh, extremely Jewish in real life. He's the most know. Jew Italian. Am I wrong, George? Life. I don't I, think it was. All, all, all I know is, is the Zach's dog hates Arabs. That's all. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying it for years. That's true, is that? No, it's not true. It is. Baby yeah. says it's true. <laughs> Dogs okay. are, can be racist, as with babies. Babies can also. We be We were racist. talking about this earlier. How has my dog been racist? Okay, I love you. I'm not gonna say. It. <laughs> Frank Estanza. Well, hold on, AB. You got You made a bold claim. Let's. Are you it talking up. about Bambi? Or he Priscilla? said I don't like Jewish people. That seemed a little bold. <laughs> His dog said that. <laughs> Are you talking about Bambi or Priscilla? Uh, Bambi. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you how say, you, you knew how <laughs> Priscilla is a perfect little angel. Yeah, Thank she you. Is. Appreciate that. And what did your dog do? Yeah, what did Bambi do? Because he barked at you. No, I just mess around because Bambi used to come in here and only bark at me for some reason. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I heard Priscilla say she doesn't like gay people. So in the fatigues, it's learned that Frank George's father is a member of the Knights of Columbus, an all Catholic fraternal organization. There you go. There you go. But people in the early polls, I remember uh, they said of Seinfeld in focus groups, it's too Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because there's. I mean, obviously, about it. yeah. It's it, just. 
just New York and Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. And Elaine is like ultimate goyim, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. He's a wasp, yeah. Yeah. I guess they're all kind of like um ambiguous. Like Kramer could be ambiguous. Kramer uh, ambiguous. is oftentimes he wearing could... a wearing a crucifix in the show. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But they're ambiguous. They're low. Listen, the all four of those characters are Jewish. Elaine is like, Jewish? No, but I, I'm saying like not officially, but like, come on. Come but, on. But <laughs> but in the canon of the show, I think Jerry is the only one who's Jewish. I well yeah, I dare I say who's even more Jewish than Jerry. They are related, Uncle Leo. Oh, come on. Well, it's his uncle. Of course he's Yeah, Jewish. yeah. Uncle but Leo. he's like everything that comes out of his mouth is oh, he's an anti Semite. Like that's his response. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. yeah, no, I think Jerry is 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 Jewish on this. Have you seen every episode? Yes, I I have. I think probably at one point or another. I mostly watch them in syndication as reruns on TV, and I watch it all the time. So I've probably seen most of the episodes. <laughs> Brian Cranston is also Jewish in the show. Uh, no, <laughs> anti dentite. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Fuck that show is crazy. You guys, you Cam, gotta watch. It. Cam has a great uh, Brian Cranston story that pertains to Seinfeld. Wait, what? When you went up to him. Oh, yeah. I saw him in a play right after Breaking Bad ended, and everyone was wearing um, Breaking Bad shirts and everything to meet him after the show. And I went up to him and I said, Brian, I loved your performance in Seinfeld. (laughs) (laughs) Good. What did he say? And he giggled at it. (laughs) He was great in Seinfeld. Yeah, no. I I love that character. He plays a dentist who... Uh, converts to Judaism for the joke. For the joke. <laughs> for the joke. So, he can, so like the day after Jerry goes to get his teeth fixed and he's popping off with his Jew jokes. <laughs> and Jerry's like, is it really? It's only been a day. It's been a day. He's, I mean. he's also a, a swinger and like gets really into a... True. Yeah. Yep. What were we talking about? <laughs> Swoop, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Racist the drug store called. Okay, should I keep playing this? Um... I, th- yes. I don't know where yes, we are. Yes, because we're, we're. I'm about. He's about to talk the about final the final text. text. Right, the final, final text. text. Here we go. Final text. She threatened Seinfeld. me a few months later through text mm. that if I continued to talk about her mm. in any way, shape, or form, is what she said. If you mention me in any way, uh, I'm going to get lawyers mm. on you. And my response to that was her branded slogan. Uh, all I said was spread happiness. And that wasn't the was that her was that her branded slogan? That's fucking awesome. Yes. Her oh slogan God. is spread happiness with a little sunflower. Is That's her thing. giving Roman Antwood Smile more. Smile more. Smile more. Antwood. Fuck, dude. Antwerp. Spread happiness. <laughs> the 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 Ant- fuck? The the Roman Antwerp. Antwerp. <laughs> hey, I just thought of the Roman Empire. Ninja Yolani. <laughs> true. It's true. Ding. Yo, Ding. rack it up. Anybody, I'll tell you guys right now. <laughs> anybody who's like spread happiness, they're full of shit, dude. Yeah. Anyone who's like happy by choice, spread happiness. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> Every single person. Saddest motherfucker no, you'll it's ever all, meet. It's all bullshit. I <laughs> promise. Fuck them. There's not oh, one you. serious person that does all that. <laughs> happy all by right. Choice. This is my favorite part. Play here or go back? No, 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 no. Next slide. Next slide. This is Aloha Gate. So Aloha Gate took <laughs> oh, place okay. November 15th through the 22nd, 2016. Um, Colleen was caught on her trip to Hawaii, which she went to like partially to promote Moana, um, and partially for like a birthday trip. Moana. Moana. What? This is when Moana came out. Disney. What did was a her thing. involvement? Uh, the Ballinger family were promoting it. They're just okay. Yeah. So, um, Eric was not on this trip. However, the day Colleen was leaving Hawaii, a fan saw them at the airport with Eric. In Hawaii. So the what's mother, this photo? Right. So in that after that info came out that a fan saw them at the airport, they went back to Rachel's vlog and they saw one camera frame right in here. the back. Yes. That's another Costanza, bro, on the beach in the <laughs> background of the photo. And he went he went there and tried to remove it so from the photo. When uh, uh, this is it's exact it's the same hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me pull connected. up the picture. His boss, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Dude, it's the same body language. (laughs) Check this out. That's similar, I guess. He gets a new job, and then he realizes... (laughs) 
<laughs> that he had a huge fucking fight with this dude's family on the beach. <laughs> and he, he was praying he didn't remember him. And he saw this photo. <laughs> And he, this was before Photoshop, so he went there and tried to Photoshop him out. Oh, it's fantastic, you guys. Please. And then they, like, turn, five him, into, times. turn him into a car cartoon character. Or they, they, like, brush him out, but the, the this? boss gets turned into a car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, dude. So good. That's five times, y'all, and it's all Costanza related. <laughs> Okay, that's super, that is super right. tea. So at the airport, <laughs> when the fan asked to take a photo with Colleen and Eric, Eric said that he could not be in the photo for contract reasons. Right. That or oh, like, maybe you mean like, it's been a few weeks since you announced your divorce. Well, divorce is technically a contract. That's true. But that didn't happen until October. Oh, wait, but this is November, so it did happen. That is, that is red-handed, man. Right. Her so next, family was in on all this shit. Bro. That's cold, man. Because yeah. he was Having talking about me. how he loved them. He was super close with them. Mm -hmm. Cold. Cold. Cabin Gate. Cabin Gate. This is December 12th, 2016. Um, Dude, there's a Seinfeld where they go to the cabin and burn it down. The cheaper letters. The Don. Uh, the, the, um, the cigars? The cigars, but they find out that. Uh, They're counterfeit. Well, no, 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 no. When uh, what, what Susan's dad was having an affair with that writer, uh, then they find the letters, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, they burned the cabin down, dude. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm not gonna stop doing that. That was another Costanza <laughs> moment, though. Go ahead. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. Um. So, cabin gate. Colleen goes to the mountains with her sister Rachel, her sister Rachel's boyfriend at the time. And that's it, we thought. However, one shot from oh, Rachel's vlog. Yes, Go back. I love this. Go back. So one shot in Rachel's vlog in the cabin shows Eric. This is it? Wait, let me move this. Refresh that page. I just moved the cot thing. So you um, can see oh, it's a critical uh, detail. Yeah, that, that was is, a, it was literally so important. That was an important detail. One pixel face, but it's important. Um, after fans noticed that one shot, Rachel took it down and re-uploaded without that shot. Ooh, dead <laughs> yeah. giveaway. Yes, and Colleen even hosted a live stream during this, and I remember watching it, and she was like, I'm all alone in the woods. Everybody left me. And literally, she's over with her boyfriend. Yeah. It was like Michael Myers in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty good. One year later, Aloha Gate 2.0. A year later? Can't they come out by now? Aloha nope, Gate 2.0. Aloha Gate 2.0 is one that I actually caught in the moment. Wait, like, wait, wait, I wait. noticed it myself in, by not reading comments even. Wait, I was like, what is that? Aloha right, Gate 1 was when the boyfriend or whatever was in the background. We didn't even know he was in Hawaii, Aloha, Aloha Gate Aloha 1. Gate 2, but there was also the scandal in Maui. So was that like... Is that like the Hawaii beta? Centric. Oh, the texting scandal. The honeymoon well, their honeymoon scandal. was in Maui. That was before the full version number. That was Aloha, Aloha Gate this Zero. Aloha 3.0. Yeah, Kalina, you could do that Kalina or, or you could Aloha. consider that a beta. Like a beta. A beta? beta Aloha. Yeah. Don't ever call me a beta, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Alpha Aloha. Bro, I, I, I just cycled that beta. kind of language out of my vocabulary. Yeah. Beta. I don't say beta anymore. Yeah. Beta. Thank you. So. Aloha Gate 2.0 is the when- The video's called You Caught Me. Well, that's the day after. So, Aloha Gate 2.0 is when Colleen got to Hawaii in, 20, in 2017. So this is a year later. She is with, for a few days, Angela Kinsey, who is also in Haters Back Off. But after like one or two days, Angela leaves and it's just Colleen, her family, and Eric. <clears throat> And um, on this trip, Adam says that Colleen was texting in the weenies, like, Eric looks so hot getting in and out of the hot tub, like shit like that to kids. And then on the first day- She was day, saying that to the kids? Yes. Ew. She posted a vlog in her room fuck? and she would just like was doing hula dancing and there's men's trunks in the shot. Dude, that's disgusting, bro. And- <laughs> the, the, the telling the kids about oh, how yes. hot, what the fuck? I'm getting what? so horned up right now. For yo, real. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm. I'm it's but me if this is. Yo, my pussy is leaking. Right <laughs> Jesus now. Christ. To a bunch of kids. Yo, somebody mopped me up. 
<laughs> it's disgusting. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's disgusting. And I began to swallow All right, into but, him. So everyone behind. was like, oh my God, are those, those are Aaron's, Eric's trunks literally like in your bathtub. What's going on? Did they pull up pictures of him wearing those exact trunks? Yes. Oh, God. And, um, but the next day she posts a vlog called You Caught Me where she says a very elaborate story that explains why his trunks were there. But now we know they were just together. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's watch. I'm not naked. I'm wearing a bathing suit. Um, obviously, I'm not naked. Why would I be naked on the beach? How many views does this something. have? I'm just curious. You me. Oh, it Yesterday, did. in my vlog, I was hula dancing, and there was something in the background while I was hula dancing that you guys all picked up on. Ugh. I can't, dude. This isn't disgusting. Stop! She gives me the EVGBs. Upon further in <laughs> inspection, a lot of you discovered the that it was Eric's bathing suit dangling in the background. Girl, how were you going to try to explain this? I don't You're know. in Hawaii. There's no way that man's swimsuit got in your goddamn bathroom. <laughs> Apparently, to you guys, the bathing suit in the background proves that um, Eric and I showered together. <laughs> Yesterday when we got to the hotel, not all of our rooms were ready yet, so uh, one at a time, our rooms became ready. And mm. my well, hold on. Now, but we didn't even know he was there, right? No, we did. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, okay. We knew he, at this point, it's been a year, so Eric going on vacay with them, he's been in her vlog so much recently as friends, that it's like, oh, of course Eric will go with them okay. to Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. My room Eric's kind of a weirdo. Well, I think it's really interesting that, like, his partner participates in all this stuff. You have to assume that he co-signs it, right? A uh, hundred percent, of yeah. course. But he's just, like, in for the Colleen ride, the toxic gossip train all the way. Yeah, he's, he's on Does he have a career after? Acting? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he continued. He wasn't in, like, major, major works, but he was in, like, Criminal Minds. Is he, he was still in a, a working TV actor? Show. Yeah, I think. Let me pull up his IMDb. I mean, good for him. I'm not trying to like. I'm just curious. Came ready first. Eric came up and took a shower and washed off his beachy sandiness. And then I went in to take a shower and his suit was dangling behind me. But no, Eric and I did not shower together yesterday. <laughs> well, why even make the video? Exactly. Just ignore it. Well, why even say, like, Josh didn't cheat on me or anything? It's like she's planting seeds to be like, just so you know, like I have stated, I have stated this isn't happening. So like the people on Twitter can be like, no, she said it's not true. I don't understand though. Is she trying to keep this a secret forever? Well, she, they announced that it's they were year. dating. You'll see. They announced that they were dating, mar uh, getting married and pregnant in like three weeks. Okay. All together. Wow. Yeah. We made, guys, I have an announcement. <laughs> we're starting a family. For real. I'm just kidding. That would have been nice. Just kidding. All right, whatever. Ew, Miranda. Um, if you keep watching, actually, there is a clip Wait, where, like, she weirdly is, like, mocking the idea that interrupted. she likes him. So she's filming and she's like, ooh, so hot. And it's like, what the? There is a shadow walking behind me in my room. And question. people are saying that I was a liar. It was, it was because all the boys that I was on tour with were in my room. And so it's just funny to me that people are so desperate to make me look like this horrendous human. Oh, right. Girl, why? You're doing, you are. Got it. Anyway. But she's I, saying... She didn't have to do this. She's like, yeah, if I was having sex with him, I would be a horrendous person. And yeah, she is why? doing that. Yeah. You're single. Just get out there. Um, he was in a TV show called Good Trouble. When was that? What year is 2021 that? 2021 to 2022. Good Trouble? I didn't. Um, I only actually I did hear about that because I, I she would talk about it in her videos. Um, yeah. Costanza. He was uh he was in two episodes of Lucifer. I hope this doesn't affect his career negatively being with her. Cause that, I mean, I genuinely, cause that would suck if he's got like a whole yeah. thing going. Although yeah. she gave him his big break, I yeah. think, right? In the role he, of a lifetime. <laughs> in the role of a lifetime, Miranda sings live. You're welcome. Yo, you're in trouble. Okay, whatever. We love you, Eric, or I guess, I don't know. So after Aloha Gate 2.0. Oh, if you want to. Yeah, and yeah. I'm trying to find Eric and see if he wants to have a shower with me. <laughs> Eric. Hi. <laughs> I'm laying on my balcony. Like, huh? I'm trying to get All right, I'm not going to watch this. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. I don't like her. Got it. So, and then in summer 2019, this is after Colleen has her first baby. 
Um, Josh was really not doing well and he was an alcoholic at this point and he posted a video where he was like, I'm gonna, you guys don't know what Colleen did to me, but like I do and I'm gonna tell everybody. Oh. And so this is that video. He didn't end up doing it. Apparently Shane Dawson gave him a call True. and talked him down. No, from the I don't have all the details dude. on that, but yeah. Listen, from the Godfather. Right. Listen. The king, the, the father of you. He might get a call from somebody you know. <laughs> Somebody close to you. His name is Shane Dawson. What he says goes in this town. Are you sure you want to make that video? I don't think it's such a good idea. Was on a podcast. With all these texts, you know, floating around. Was on a podcast. Saying you beat her and all this, you know. Be a shame for that to get around. I am the conspiracy guy, you know. I don't know. That's crazy that Shane called him. Yeah, Held my tongue. I'm actually glad he's doing so much better. This is really sad. It's she so, really it's fucked so him. I was really scared. I rem He was in a really dark He place. looks really bad here. Yeah. It seemed like he was just like a full-blown alcoholic. He was. He said that there would be nights where he'd be like, I don't even care. Right. Yeah, really sad. Not like that, James. We'll no. Take this seriously. <laughs> For years. Two or three years, I've held my tongue more than you know, and it's killing me. Just I'm say just it, bro. Tell the truth. Do it I now. I want to tell you about my life, and I want to tell you about what really happened. And suck. <laughs> and it might piss off a lot of people. It might piss off the subscribers, and it might piss off Colleen. It might Is piss it? off. Say it. People in my family. He doesn't. So he doesn't. I, no. <laughs> Oh, should I keep playing here? No, 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 no. You're good. That was that video has been <laughs> taken down off the internet. The fact there was all reasons. that preamble and then he didn't say it. Yeah. It's pretty funny, I gotta say. <laughs> it was like an introduction <laughs> yeah, exactly. video. He was like, I want to tell you guys Spread the truth. It out! Yeah. And he was like, I'm planning on telling you guys what's happening and then I'm gonna get a call from Shane Don. <laughs> yeah. And then Shane really caught blocked us with that. Uh, yeah, you're gonna make a couple of statements on YouTube. <laughs> We're in the home stretch, by the way. We're almost done. I feel you okay. may want to reconsider that option. I know it was you, Fredo. I'll put you in a conspiracy video. We'll call it Square. <laughs> Otherwise, you might trip and fall. An alcoholic, you never know what's going to happen. By the way, have you seen that Jada Smith? <laughs> no good? Should, Should I button? Uh, no. That's something Shane Dawson did. I know. Yeah, you're fine. She, that Jada Smith is something, don't you think? What happened should have happened. What should have happened happened. And well said, my <laughs> friend. Yeah, nice, dude. By the way, speaking of Babel and Reach, they apparently put out a new video today about... About you? Yeah, about me and Hassan's epic... Um, Karma. Confrontation. Uh, They're joining in on the fun. Ah, uh, you a bitch. I saw one of the top comments said, what's happening to Ethan is the opposite of what's happening to Sneeko. Or the same thing, but on the opposite side of the political spectrum, where you're seeing what your audience actually is. Now you wow. so stupid. <laughs> what? what? The opposite what? end yeah. of the political spectrum of it's saying, Yeah, he's saying that, fans? like, Ethan's realizing now that his audience is, is so fucked up the way Our that bunch Sneeko of, They're realizing. all communists? That's literally not what's happening. Yeah, I know. So That's not what's happening. I, yeah. I know people are so desperate to make that parallel. It's like, yeah. look, we have 56,000 people watching live. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> Swoop over here. You guys see Swoops in chat? Cool. I know, we have Swoop. She is? She said, hey, just wanted to say I appreciate you Girl. all. Great PowerPoint, Olivia and, Olivia and Ethan. I hope you feel better soon. Girl. Swoop! Swoop! We love Swoop. Good work. Literally incredible work. Everybody go watch that video. Definitely, definitely, and definitely. It's in the it's in yes. the bio. Link and go in the bio. Give, give all the healing. By the way, to can Josh. we talk about how being a socialist is not no, equal why, to a what? kid? Let's not talk no, about that right now. Why are we in the middle of I need to say that we're, we're in the middle of Aloha gay. Saying you're a socialist is not the same as someone saying, let's kill all gay people. That's not the same. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not right, make that. You're right. That's let's not, not make that parallel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That's what okay. I'm saying. It's so insane. That's why I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's not the same, guys. Yeah. It is not. Even if you think that, like, whatever is happening with me, that's not the same. 
Thank you. I agree. Beautiful. I rest my case. Amen. It's not your fault. (laughs) Well, I don't know. Um, Reach, what do you think about... It's not your fault. What did you have to say about it? Something about an omelet? Hmm. Some wisdom from Reach? And in order to comprehend, you're going to have to break some... (laughs) Comprehend. In order to comprehend and to eat the uh, the, the, the Um, omelet um, of knowledge, (laughs) you're going to need to break... He's smart. Those really good guy. Yeah. He's very analytical mind. All right. And he was Next. right about it. Very good. <laughs> so <laughs> this is something that went under the radar for a while. This is Josh's old friend about a month and a half ago on his podcast. He used to be friends with Colleen and Josh. He's a YouTuber named, his last name's Green. Oh, Dude, he's yeah. versace out. What's going on he with him? He is. He's all swagged. I've seen him on JK News, I think. Swag. Yeah, so he basically gives his two cents on like their dynamic and what it was like and he basically is just like Colleen's a horrible person talks so much shit he, This is the right. one who showed yep. Josh the screenshots from Stop! Shane Dawson at Playlist Live where he was like, dude Did you see these texts that Shane is passing around? That looks like Yo, brother, that's fake Versace right there There's Don't no way that's real. on my man like that. There's no way that's real. Look how no, cheap it's a goof. It, it looks so Oh, it's a goof. Yeah, yeah they, I watch cheap these people manipulation. sometimes. Oh, you do? Yeah, JK News. Oh, but cool. so this is from two months ago? Yeah. A little late. Yeah. I could have spoken about it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I thought this was going to be like from five years ago or something. Oh, no. You guys heard? Well, okay, we know that. Where do you know that? Right, but the Who's way he's... the way he speaks, he's like, damn, he would leave the room and she would just go ham okay. on him. Okay, I'll listen. About Miranda Sings, a.k.a. Colleen Ballinger. This is kind of a weird topic for yeah. me because I know these people, so this is going to be a little weird. Spill the fucking beans, Steve. Green. Okay, so uh, this is one of those crazy things, right? So you, when you know somebody, you don't necessarily know everything about them, obviously. That's what everyone says about serial killers. And like everyone who's a neighbor. <laughs> it's like, oh. That was a funny analogy. <laughs> Lee Simpson's neighbor's like, he was the nicest fuck. Yo, that necklace looks fake, bro. What is that woo necklace? Who made that, brother? I'm kidding. I'm loving that guy. Woo! You know what I mean? This whole, you know I mean? whole vibe. But I mean, like, how would they know? Yeah, they he's just probably just went like this, like three times, and all of a sudden they're the nicest guy in the neighborhood. Exactly. No. You don't know just anybody. Don't fucking know. So when I knew Colleen Ballinger, she was doing the Miranda Sings character, and um, what did you meet her? I'm like, make her. There's so many people there, dude. It's sick. It's kind of fun concept. They're just like sitting. This. Yeah, it's like a round yeah. table. That's, you think people don't say that about this? Bro, show? what? This, show, this <laughs> format is weird. Go to go to five minutes. That's when he starts talking about like the uh, mean stuff. Oh, go to five minutes. Okay. Yeah. You thought this format was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> she also um, gave. So there's a kid named Adam McIntyre who's come out about this situation. He was in that weenies group that I'm talking about, and apparently, like as she. Like, you know, she was with her husband, and the mm-hmm. big thing about her and her husband was that she would talk mm-hmm. shit on her husband, like, constantly. To the kids? To everybody. Well, was that a joke, or was that real? It was real. That's what I, throughout all this, it just feels like she hated him. The whole yeah. time, she just hated him. It feels like she just has a lot of hate for, like, she can just talk shit, it sounds like. I do like wonder. she just likes to. Well, I do wonder if she treats Eric the same way. I do wonder that as well. It's possible. It's more than possible. I hope not. That she's just a toxic partner. Yeah. It was the real shit she's ever. She's just venting uh, about... Venting about her husband, like, being embarrassing. She's humiliated by him at all times. Which, again, it's so weird, because she gave him an ultimatum. You must propose to me. Yeah, Josh says in his interview that he felt like he was just playing a part, and that, like, he just didn't fit the quota anymore. Like, he, he was just replaced. Right. Like, just talking the most shit I've ever heard a human being talk. Then why is she with him? Uh, dude, it was weird. All right. Yeah, he also says Corey DeSoto's the meanest motherfucker he's ever met in his life. Oh, which I, I do. That dude's so weird, bro. Corey's got bodies in the basement. He's got a group chat called Corey's Clits. Mm, there's Remember something that? off about that dude who wants to live with Colleen's family. Thank you, Zach. The next one is a clip of Colleen after she announced that she was with Eric and pregnant with her first child. What? She's making fun of Josh? She's making fun of Josh. I don't know. came out with an EP, and she's saying that he stole the song from Jason Derulo. So be careful when you click, because at one point she plays the songs on top of each other, and one is a Jason Derulo song. But she's just saying that he, like, copied. 
and put the two songs together to see if they are in fact the same track. <coughs> Wait, this was a private video. Yeah, she sent this to Johnny. <laughs> Johnny's the one who put this out before Johnny, Swoop Johnny, no, Papa. Expo exposed him. Dude, what is wrong with her? Why is she friends with these kids? They're just... At this point, John, uh, Johnny was of age. But like a fan. Her, like, yeah. He's like a he's like a, a diehard fan. Why do you need... She's so like... I think she truly must be a narcissist because like she needs that worship. She needs the adoration. That's why sure. she's connecting with the fans. Mm -hmm. She needs the worship. People need to see her like the god, the mm -hmm. goddess that she is. And they validate like every move she makes and she needs it. And kids are like so impressionable and they don't, they're not going to see through anything and they're just okay. going to be all worship. We love that, don't we, Colleen? We do. <laughs> so, the only difference is um, Jay Diggity's is a step higher. So I made, I made, um... But if she's just talking to a friend about it, I don't really care. I don't think it's that big of a deal. No, it's a, it's a fan that she, that now works for her who used to know Josh. I know, but it's not a pub, she's not publicly guess, yeah, blasting yeah, yeah. him. But it's still weird that And we know Johnny's, and... Johnny's snakish. Yeah. But you know, like, you always talk shit about, like, other, if you're with your friend and, you know, your sure. ex-husband, you, you make a comment to him, or ex-boyfriend, I mean, you know. There's a big difference between talking in private and talking in public. I guess. I just feel like I hope one day when I'm pregnant and engaged, I'm not talking shit about my ex. Probably not. A, yes. That would, no, that would indicate a healthy mind All and right. spirit. Thank you. I will strive for it. I'll watch it, though, just because why not? Okay. Jason Rula song, a step higher to see if they are the same, and they are. And I will show you. They are. I mean, they are. Here's the, Here's the are. receipts, girl. Wow, I hear it. What the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah. She just be, she's being a dick. Yeah. So the next one, this came out on Twitter yesterday or the day before, and apparently she had an inside joke with the weenies, where they called Josh Pinky, and they would take photos holding uh, up pinkies. No. Do we know that it's specifically because of his genitals? So the comments. Sticky Guys, fungus. we referred to Josh as Pinky for a very long time. Connect the dots. And Adam on stream, it seemed like he was insinuating that it okay. is correct. That First they were of all, these are children size. you're talking about. They're the Literally. ones putting out their little pinkies. They're, these are kids. Why are we talking about your ex-husband's genitals? And this also oh, isn't the first time that I've heard that she would talk about, like, Eric and Josh's sizes with them. Like, this isn't the only She time. used to discuss their penis size with the kids? That's what this is, apparently, too. I didn't know all that. That's fucked up. Bro, that's she did freaky it. shit. Love. She's so crazy. But yeah, apparently that's what... <clears throat> also, like, is... you fucked up. It's not cool, like, to ma be making fun of his manhood. Right. Like, come on. That's such a low blow. Mm -hmm. And for what reason? You're the one that cheated on him. Mm -hmm. And he covered for you, man. Yeah. This? Mm -mm. He could have gone harder. Yeah, he said she didn't cheat on me. No, I mean in the swoop interview too. I think he could have gone harder. Really? I think he could have. He could have made it really, really messy, and he did lay the truth out. But I don't think he got as messy as he could have. That's why I wanted him to call in because I'll get him messy. I would love that. <laughs> that's my specialty. Yeah, <laughs> a mess. Pinky, dude, that's so fucked up. Put yeah. that thing away, Colleen. You should be ashamed of yourself. All the right. kids, put the kids, the kids in the pinky. That man. guy's got braces. <laughs> what are you doing? I hate that. Uh, <laughs> Todja? Todja? Uh, I'm having a moment here with this pinky thing. It's gross. And she would tell her Bunger. weenies that her new husband was better endowed? <gasps> I... I mean, I don't know if that's exactly right. I can, I can. That's giving p word. Maybe in my opinion, ask. talking with kids about that. That's right? exactly what it was. It's weird. Um, like but she would, point, she would talk about their sizes weird. for sure. I don't know if she said Eric's was bigger than Josh's. I want to see. She said that. I want to. I want to clarify. That's so fucked up. Like, come on. What's your argument? Oh shit! My mug keys out. Sheesh. All right, whatever. Let's keep it moving. You know what I mean? Let's keep it keep moving. It moving. Keep okay, and that's it. Thoughts? Oh, that's it. That is everything.
Oh, there's nowhere to move. Thoughts is that she's a B word and Josh is uh was screwed over by her. Yeah. I hope he's healing. And I hope that Eric's not well, a hostage. Yeah, I hope that now. I hope that Colleen and Eric have a healthier relationship for sure. For the sake of all of them and their kids, for sure. I always felt bad that she's going through all this stuff just because she's got three kids and yeah. Your kids know when you're not present. It's hard, man. When you're not present, it's so hard. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time we talk about Colleen. Right, Dan? That'd be cool. No so, more Colleen. No more Josh. Unless he agrees to call in. Right. And spill all <laughs> kinds of tea. Unless he's, unless he's going to call in and gush like Miranda's vagina when she sees okay. her oh. new husband coming out of the hot tub. Gee-wiss. That's what she said. I mean, oh, let's be so honest, bad. Colleen did use that verbiage. She said that to young fans. Oh, did I miss that part? Okay. She said that in one of her <laughs> Colleen's that corners, remember? Well, that's why I said the joke. She was like, remember gotcha, the gotcha. teenage girls? And it was like, why the fuck At is she talking At least I've seen what that? a vagina looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Tip. Cheers, my dude. <laughs> All right. So, let's see, we have Russell Brand and... Uh, yeah, so that's a big beefy story, and so is the other thing. It is, uh... No, I can do a passenger fast. Good smoky flavor. Okay. I can do a passenger fast, and then we'll do the Russell Brand thing on Friday. I'm super into this Russell Brand, um, story. There's so much ins and outs and details. It's fascinating. It really is. And, of course, with all, um, you know, it's... With all respect to the victims and stuff, who I fo who are one thousand percent telling the truth, um, but the way that he's he's uh, engineered his defense is so transparent and it's is really amazing to see just how the right wing, the grift, just will take anybody in, man. It's awesome. Let's talk about eight passengers. So what's up? What's up? Ruby Frank's two sisters posted individual videos addressing the situation. Okay. Bonnie, one of her, they're all family vloggers, by the way. So they're all like <clears throat> feeling the, feeling the guacamole well dry up. Title, I am not my sister. I am not my sister's crime. I wish there was a guacamole well. That'd hmm? be so cool. That'd be so a cool. guacamole well? Like we could a do well. That. Would you dip into that? Oh well. Oof. Oh well. Love some guac. So I'm. It's nine minutes. Let's see. What video to make? I know that my words will be used against me. I also know that my words may help. Girl, you're a professional you in a YouTuber. Warehouse? What is happening? Find a fucking there. less echoey room. <laughs> God damn. Fuck. I think you should retire if you haven't figured out how to do audio by now. <laughs> Sounds like shit. Understand. She went to the biggest, little, emptiest room she could find. That's crazy. She's sitting in the Mormon church. The right, yeah, she's in the in the tabernacle. <laughs> That's the, that yeah. makes sense with how bad the echo is. <laughs> For myself, other than um, the judge has asked us not to speak on certain topics that I. I'm bored. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, like, I, you're not your sister, you're not your sister's crime. It's just that you're all family vloggers. It's just weird. It's yeah. so weird. What's your argument? She's so, like... <laughs> I don't know. Adult I don't know. Incest. These people, they're like, you put it, you put it well, they're also glazed. They're just Glaze like, up. Yeah. Just a glaze to the eyes. Let's fast forward and just see. Here's a uh, most watched spot. Let's see what she has to say. What was I going to do? I was not going to come out and publicly say that I don't like my sister and I don't Please like put what she's some doing EQ or something on there, you know? That is what we kept quiet about. It wasn't until... What the fuck she said? Yeah, why is there... We kept quiet about them cutting us off because we didn't understand why they did it. That is what we kept quiet about. It wasn't until about a year ago... When we were oh, able to baby. reconnect with Sherry, <laughs> I don't, there is no comment. Bro, it we're going to be so hearing the echo when we cut the stream. <laughs> that there is no Still comment. resonating. Three years ago, Ruby and Kevin cut our family off. And eventually Lady, what the fuck? 
That's like a day one video. <laughs> I can't deal with that. It's not, her other videos can't be like this, right? Uh, well, there's uh, in the doc, there's like a little summary and some timestamps if you want to wade through this. The upstairs and the main floor all have oh, they just bought a new the house. same Vibes. color and the same sheen. And it's echoey. It's moody. That's why I'm not too got concerned that about glaze. the walls being all glazed. Okay, whatever. I know you don't, your sister and you know your crimes. It's just weird. Um, weird. Update about the pinky thing. Apparently, Colleen would call Josh Pinky, and then she would insinuate that she was much more satisfied with Eric. That's so freak. Yeah. That's not cool at all, mm -hmm. man. I think so. yeah. What did he do to deserve that? That's Nothing. like the meanest thing you can say. I agree. It's a 12-incher, but I give it a light six. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in this video, she says that they didn't know the extent and that she left the family three years ago. They just moved into a new house with, with horrible acoustics. <laughs> she says her anger sets in because this casts a bad light on her. Of oh, course, she's house. the victim. Right. That's a Poor good take. Woman. Let me open that. Let me open that. Poor woman. Huh? Let me let me hear how she delivers that line. Papa's in the house. And this is where my anger comes in. Their actions have cast the worst light on me. Bro. On, what about, about the girl, fucking kid what? in the cage? <laughs> I have decided that I am no longer allowing them to to have any control over what I do. I didn't post because... Okay. Yeah, the kids were probably the biggest victim. But yeah, I guess she made you look bad too. <laughs> right to God, lady. I do. I feel terrible about that. <laughs> Bonnie will not let Ruby or Kevin be the reason she stops posting. Yes, girl, don't ever stop. Oh, there. this is so empowering. We need to make you never yeah. stop vlogging. Let Vlog forever. Smile more. Smile more, damn it. Just never ever <laughs> do it. It is Ru death. Ruby will not keep me from smiling more. And connections and Jody take one more thing away from me. So you better believe I will continue to post because if that is what tiny oh control I have left, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take control Can and I? do what I feel. Ruby was probably the one that gave these people careers, right? She was the, she was the vanguard of the family blogging. Um, That's a good question. I, I don't know which. I mean, I, family I, members started all of this. Here's her other story, Julia's. Julia Mattis. Yo, really? I did the whole thing. I think the day quill actually Ruby helps. Frankie, who was arrested a few weeks. That's just bussing. <laughs> it's that double shot. Uh, it, that's hit, just bussing. <laughs> it hit me with that double. <laughs> Can I get a double night day quill on the rocks? Double kill. <laughs> Yo, get me that double. Double nut. What's the most I can take of the shit in a day? Well, you should not take any more right now. <laughs> Why? Because you're going to be driving home in a yeah, not exactly. that long. It doesn't say don't home. operate machinery on this. Uh, I think it probably does. The NyQuil does. The DayQuil doesn't. As you could show me where it says that, I don't think it does. The NyQuil definitely does. Bro's going to be driving like Mario and Dreddy up in there. NASCAR. Um, take, uh, only use... Do not exceed four doses, so that means I could take another double. Yeah, yeah. I could take another double, bro, on the rocks. Straight. I could take it a little dirty, straight up. <laughs> well, that's... Never mind. Uh, you want to see the bottle? I can drive on this, bro. Yeah, it's. Uh, I guess it looks like it's fine. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I can drive on this, bitch. You want to drive with me? I'll prove it to you. Take. <laughs> I'll drive you home. <laughs> Take. Sound like a seasoned alcohol. And I'll get you home I can fast. This, I swear. I drive better on Dayquil. Please take off. Please take. I can still drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's classic. I've had so many alcoholics. Just tell me, yeah. I drive better when I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drive angry. Oh, okay, cool, dude. <laughs> I'll, that sounds good. I'll get in. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> so here's her other sister, uh, Julie. Go for child abuse. By now, you probably My know that. Is... You also probably have. <laughs> 
seen my sister Bonnie's video. I was much better about audio. To post Let's give it up. Yesterday or today, and she knows how to record. Just couldn't bring myself to do it. I've been trying to gather my thoughts <laughs> for several weeks, and. I don't think I'm ever going to have my thoughts completely put together here because <laughs> it's it's involved so many people. There's so many little details. I am not going to be a news update. I will not update you on news. <laughs> I will not give all of the little nitty gritty details. I don't even, I know I don't need to sit here and defend myself. I know I don't need to go into the history of what has happened. Um, so we'll see where this goes and how much I get into, but. The Let's past see how it goes, few weeks girl. have been extremely hard. Not only did all that happen with Ruby, but I had just moved to a new state and Landon had to go back to Utah to finish up his dissertation for his degree. And so I've been settling into a that new bed home. That bed is hella I was about to say, that bedroom looks like the fucking place <laughs> they recorded the exorcism. Why does it look like that? Like two matching <laughs> yeah, it's like tables. From the... the bed is, she's married, right? Because that bed is not big enough for two, I feel like. Nah, well, that's like a twin bed. Look how small it is. Maybe Dude. they have another twin bed matching on the other side of the room, right. like old old they school would style. That. They would do that. Husband and wife shouldn't sleep in the same bed. They only sleep together when we're trying to when we're fornicating. Right. All right, go on. Tell me more. The kids without his help and all of this fell down. So I literally have not had the physical Damn, or emo Google. Can I drive on Dayquil? I okay, did. Because it's fine, right? It said, avoid driving and hazardous activities until you know how Dayquil cough will affect you. Your reactions could be impaired. Well, but then do it on NyQuil. See what NyQuil says. They'll be like, don't. We're not on NyQuil. No, That's but I'm just, just compare. Just, just compare. Curious. Yeah. You know? Well, we know. The answer, <laughs> the answer is no. They didn't on, say on don't NyQuil. drive on Dayquil. They said, just see how be it careful. affects Be careful, yes. Right. Yeah. Which I've done, clearly. I just did like three hours. Blasted on this shit. Bro. <laughs> I'm angry. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, what a surprise! You can't. You, you shouldn't drive on Nyquil. Don't drive on Nyquil. Yeah. Dayquil vibes. Nailed it. Nyquil. Uh uh. That's what the fuck is up. Now hit me with that double, a double, um, extra dirty. Emotional capacity to address anyone, nor do I need to address anyone. But here we are. Three years ago, Ruby, everything was great. It seemed to be fine anyway. We were a typical family. She was getting some therapy counseling because their family needed it, which I think is great. However, I think you need to get it from a great source. Read the reviews. Jody Hildebrandt and her website or therapy style, I don't know what you want to call it, connections, was not a great resource. And we all saw it. We all felt weird about this Jody lady. We didn't, we weren't comfortable with it. We didn't like it. We didn't like the teachings Ruby was this bringing oh, to the, the family Jody functions. Lady. And we were this close to telling her if you come Dude, to our we were family this events close anymore, to doing we do something, not you want guys. to hear what you were learning. I swear to God, we were this close to uh, doing something. Really? Ooh, I was just, I was so close. I don't understand, man. It was like, I don't ah, even know. I was so I was like, close to I was doing like, something. Ooh, but then. Right there. Ooh. Right just, there. Uh, oh, just about to. It's almost like we did something. I'm so curious what the teachings were <laughs> that they didn't like. That they just stood by. Like and I never I never got a chance to watch that shit because it got nuked. Right. Mm. I'm so curious. But I, I think it had something to do with torturing your kids. <laughs> yeah. It was like the love is not unconditional for children. Right. So yeah. vibes. So vibes. Unconditional love is a conspiracy created by the it. globalists. Yeah. Be a good child. <laughs> Learning through connections because we don't like it. We never did say that to her, but we thought it. Um, anyway, so three years ago, Ruby and I hung out do, bottling tomatoes, and then a few weeks later, crap hit the fan, and she left the family. And she didn't even call me to say, hey, you know, Julie, you're doing this and this, and I don't like it, you're living your life in distortion, so I'm gonna have to take some time away from you. No, literally nothing. She did call my mom and yelled at my mom on the phone for 45 minutes and accused her of things that were not true. It was almost as if Ruby had been making up memories from her childhood. What, what are you doing, dude? Stop, you're boring. <laughs> She's making up memories? <laughs> what are you Stop. talking You're about? Boring. Make a good video. Stop you, laughing. you just That's said fun. Ruby's inventing memories? It was almost as if Ruby had been making up memories from her childhood. 
she was trying to grab at anything she could and she would exaggerate on everything. So she started all of her lies back then, lying to everyone in her life, getting rid of all of her friends and family. And okay, whatever. They were this close. That's the important part. Yeah. You guys, you don't under, even understand, like, when two lines intersect, like, and they just keep going closer but never touch it. It was like that. It was so <laughs> close. It was, like, infinitely was close. Frustrating. Damn. You know. Okay, fantastic. Julia mentions that she is also moving into a new house. Vibes. Good for you, girl. Both of them are. She <laughs> okay. doesn't she doesn't feel dude, what a beautiful timing for them. Yeah, they're both they're both moving. They're going through They're a lot doing right wonderful. Now. They're busy. She doesn't owe anyone an explanation. She reiterates everything her sister Bonnie states in her video about disagreeing with Jody and Ruby's teaching. Uh, she reveals she was finally able to form a relationship with Sherry, Ruby's eldest daughter, when she turned 18. Julie says that they had no idea what was happening, that they will not let Ruby's evil take more happiness for them. Okay, I mean... They, say, they said they disagree with their teachings? She says she re her Here, let me pull it up. <laughs> I feel like it... And goes beyond that. Yeah, it's not really just something. It's not just like cup of tea. Listen, you raise your kids that way. You you tie them up with rope and and uh, and torture them. I I'll do something else over here. It's all you know. It's just live and let be. Live and let die. You know that song was the. Um, Theme song to a Bond film. Live really? Let Die. Yeah. Sick. And um, that's you, a good soundtrack. And James Bond was an MI6 agent from the United <laughs> Kingdom. The United Kingdom, the British Isles, oh, was part of I the Roman really Empire at one point. Yeah, it was. It was. You forced that. That doesn't count. <laughs> when I was home. Da, da, da. All right, go. We all thought, we all felt weird about this Jody lady. Ela, uh, yeah. yeah. We didn't, we weren't comfortable with it. We didn't like it. We didn't like the teachings Ruby was bringing to the family functions. <laughs> and we were this close to telling her. I didn't like the this teachings close. she was bringing to the family function. We do not want oh, to. Oh, she, they were this close to telling her off. That's crazy. Close what do you have to, to bring to the family her, function? But look how close like her fingers are. They were so close to doing something. Source, read the reviews. Jody Hildebrandt and her website or a great resource and we all thought we all felt weird about this Jody lady we didn't uh -huh. we weren't comfortable with it we didn't like it we didn't like the teachings Ruby was bringing to the family functions and we the family functions where they, they do like parenting uh, workshops together bring it to the family close. function dude look how close they were to doing something though that's so close. She practically did do something. What would, you, would you say that's like an inch? That's like half an inch, bro. You think it's under an inch? Definitely. That's pretty close. Those fingers are close. That, that that's pretty close. And I'll yeah, zoom and like in. Conversion with I'll zoom in. To a right. time. It's very. It's like minutes. Even. Right. You see how close she was to doing something? Well, you can see it's like um, it's kind of going about half the distance of that of knuckle to knuckle. Mm. What would you say that is? I mean. Half knuckle knuckle. Yeah, I, mean, I think you're right. A quarter inch, maybe. Maybe even a quarter inch. That's really close. Super close. She looks like she has rather small hands. So yeah, be a quarter inch. To telling her, if you come to our family events anymore, we do not want to hear what you were learning through connections because I, I love that. So so what she's saying is we never complain, and she continued to come to our family conventions and tell us to uh, lock our kids up in the basement with duct tape and starve them. Thank you. Congrats Thanks. on the new houses. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy for them. It's good. Keep up the good work. Julie and Bonnie, you guys, you guys did good. <laughs> All right, I did it, y'all motherfuckers. Y'all said I couldn't do it, and I did do it. <laughs> wow. You look good. No, I'm not glazed look up. Good no. like that. That's my, glazed. My beard is too patchy. Yeah. My teeth aren't perfect. Yeah, your not. eyes aren't ha hazel enough to. Right, I'm not exactly. Well, well hold on. Hold, Drink hold the phone. Yeah, that's way too brown. Hazel. That's way too brown. I may be hazel. It's okay. just the light, dude. You know how Josh, his eyes didn't look blue on his 
his eyes Everybody always look blue. That was complete cap. Your cat. <laughs> Your cat. Got him. Okay. All right. What do you guys think about all that? We did it. We did most of it. We did most of it. We did and here's it. the thing. Tomorrow's leftovers at 10 a.m. Come because it's gonna be fireworks, dude. I, are we? It's gonna be explosion. Why? Why are you setting up? Like Seventeen seventy six, dude. Okay. It's the Red Scare all over it's again. It's the Roman Empire, <laughs> bro. Socialists. You guys start rounding us up. Yep. Socialists be gone. Uh huh. You're bringing in the Pinkertons. <laughs> How about you're gonna scab? I'll give you a scab. Wait, that's the hey. opposite. Hey. We love scab. I love scab. <laughs> <laughs> I pay them. I'm paying. You know why Bill Marcy is going back to his show? Because I offered to pay him. I said, Bill, you have to go back for the people. Scab. It yeah. is it's actually awesome. The two people who said they were going to scab, Bill Maher and fucking Drew Barrymore, they both already... They backed down they real They bailed. Quick. Yeah. Which is so funny because basically they got the worst of it and didn't even get to go back. They just got humiliated. Very stupid. And then sent back. On both counts. I think I saw Sam Cedar say it, and it was a very good point. He goes, what are you going to do on the talk show? Nobody's going to show up to your show. Guest-wise. You're not going to get any guests. Right, yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. Or crew, or crew. Who's going to work your shit? I mean, that's the thing. You know what? You're that's gonna, how it works. You know what's going to happen if Bill Marsh decides to shoot his show? It's going to look like this. Watch. This is this is Bill Maher's show with not a crew. This like a very impossible. <laughs> I know that. You know. Stop yeah. boring. Oh, thanks, Zach. Well, cheers to you guys. Cheers. Apparently, hey, Elon cheers, my needs man. my help with lots of stuff at home, so I'm going to need this. Um, hold on. I mean, I hate to uh, fuck your shit up with uh, with Ela here, but this seems important. Go ahead. I don't know if it's a troll. <laughs> don't know if it's a troll. <coughs> but theoretically, no, Aiden Ross no. is about to speak to Kim Jong Un. No fucking way. Oh, oh, pull it up. Is that him? Oh, you don't see my screen? Hold on. This is not really oh, happening. No. Hold on. That's fake. That's not Kim Jong Un. This is going to be like. Some, yeah, <laughs> it's a troll. It's a troll. Look, we just we. This is live, so we we just saw it. That's really but even dumb. so. It's enough, I think, to potentially start a war. It's really quite it dumb. dumb. It doesn't look anything like him. Yeah, he is like much trolls. better looking. It's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Kim Jong-un. Oh, yeah. Much better looking. Oh, yeah. And that's why he should come on the H3 podcast. Yo, Kim, come, bro. Kim, reach yeah. out. Kim. Kim. Reach out, reach out, reach Kim, out. Kim, I, come. Kim, I heard, you don't, I, I heard you don't defecate. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, yeah. That shit's awesome, bro. That's so I don't sick, either, bro. Dude. Kim. Maybe that's why he's so bulked up. Because he doesn't poop. He just, he just holds it all. <laughs> Kim. Go Kim got ash in. Kim. 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 All right. Well, we had a good old fucking show here. And just bring your um, Kevlar for tomorrow. Because them bullets going to be flying. Sweet. You know, bring your stab proof shirts, which I know y'all have. Yeah, of course. Because stabs and bullets will be flying. Order your dominoes. It might be the last episode. <laughs> if we get dominoes, it will be. That's for sure. um, It's all happening tomorrow. And I'm ready. I am ready to defend daddy capitalism. I say that facetiously. I'm not defending capitalism. I'm defending social democracy. Hell yeah, baby. This is who we are. Dance position? More like, um, hold on. <sighs> we got the music playing this song. <laughs> oh, Dan, yours is more like the National Socialist Party. We got the music playing this song. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm just Social Democrat. <laughs> you know? I should have never given you that word. Uh huh. We got the music playing this song. You have a lot in common, actually, with Kim Jong-un's politics. He's yeah. also a glorious socialist leader. That's right. <laughs> also, Ju Jushi Stalin. Gang. Jushi Gang. Shout out to Joseph Stalin, right? <laughs> Shout out. He was a powerful communist leader. Sure. 
Sure was. We're going to have fun tomorrow. There is no, uh, <laughs> oh, there's no murderous capitalist leaders, that's for sure. <laughs> it's, I'm not kill. well, as long as you don't kill your own people, it's kind of, you know, what involved? if you do both? Then, then I guess you get a better, higher score. You got the music <laughs> No, that's like zero KD. That's not like, that's yeah, I mean, plus Stalin's K KDA was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, who has a KDA like Stalin, bro? You know what I mean? Kim Jong-un might be topping that list. Who? Kim Jong-un? Kim Jong-un's got a good KDA. Yeah. Not as good as Stalin, though. No you don't shot. think? Bro, no shot, dude. A lot of people died in Dude, Stalin starving. killed, like, mil tens of millions, Tens? Dude. Okay, yeah, well. Yeah, bro, he's a fucking king of that shit. Kim Jong-un can't... The people just die because they don't have food. I don't know if that counts. I think that counts. You've got a couple of M's. <laughs> Maybe that counts. Yeah, I think so. How many people live in North Korea? It's a lot. Let's see. Population in North Korea, 25 million? Oh my god, that's horrible. That's a big country. Yeah. Joseph wiped out that whole country, though. And that's why we call him Sloppy Joe. Sleepy Joe. He wasn't the Sleepy Joe that we know. He was woke, Joe. He was awake. And he knew how to take action. <laughs> Cheers. He was a man of action. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. It's just the day call speaking through me. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh shit! Is that the police? Hi, uh... Yeah, uh, what- Tell me... Ryan Kavanaugh once did, got into this. What do I- Just tell me, what do I do? Oh, that'd be a big donation to the sheriff's office. I can do that. It's not- It's okay. It's kosh, dad. Cheers. <laughs> it's kosh, my dad. Cheers, my dude! <laughs> this is... All right. Genghis Khan, good KDA. Yeah, but he spawned a lot of people too. He wasn't really a socialist. <laughs> he spawned a lot of people too. Yeah, he spawned a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't. That's true. He, which, right? He take, he gives any take. Yeah, I mean, he was more, he more fair. <laughs> it's so funny. He wasn't a socialist though. Closer to just said. Uh, yeah, he's probably, he's a probably, lord. Yeah, closer to a lord. Lord. And nice. not like in the nice English sense, more like in the like yeah, like those nice English words, tyran tyr tyranny sense. Shout out. There it is. Oh my God, Kim. Is this a recent one, dude? He looks good. I love weight loss stories. He's glazed, bro. What you? Oh shit, you're no. right. He's glazed as fuck. Yeah. Your ointment regimen, bro. Yeah, that ain't him. Yo, what kind of tinctures glazed. and ointments are you on, brother? He needs better teeth, though, for the morning. Glaze. Those teeth are lacking. Well, that's a that's a copy. That's a dupe. Oh, it's a look-alike? Dude, his aides nah, always look so fucking miserable. <laughs> and scared. They look scared. Look at this guy. He's seen shit, man. Oh, glorious leader. You look so good. He really lost a lot of weight. He looks good, doesn't he? We're happy for him. All right. See you guys tomorrow.